You're listening to... You're listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. You are listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. The most influential name in Caribbean radio in the tri-state area. Broadcasting from East Orange, New Jersey. The most influential name in Caribbean radio. WZYE 95.9 FM. Come around with come around with more than one or two votes we need the kind of change that affordable to the rich man or the man that too broke t and t we need a new hope If you can look as far as I see, within this great land we call T and T. There's birds and bees, rivers and seas, pretty woman bringing man to the knees. Treasures of this blessed land we always neglect like kaiso and pan. I find it so strange the way we arrange. Still this nation don't know how to change. To some change by just mean a new cow. Could mean less than a dollar. To most change of this nice scent we usually get from the government. You see, change is something we always say. But every time we change, things remain the same way. Things keep getting worse and worse. So this is what I propose. Let's change the change for a better nation. Change the change for all foundations. Change the change so that we could say that this nation here came from quite down there. I say change the change within the school systems. Stop changing ministers and change what we teach them. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't start with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killings go long, so much gunmen fighting in less war. I can't tell you stay, can't tell you go, cause they still the land we used to know. Homeless, every corner you meet, and they complimented by our dirty streets. Then we wonder why, in our sister aisle, why they don't like trinis to come and spend time. Well, you see, it's much more than paving our old road, and it's greater than fixing a lamp hole. Changes about the whole nation and how we are portrayed when the party done. Who said these standards in my T and T? Really wish somebody here could tell me. It's just the same thing again and again, like we need us to use the bridge. So change the change within our country. Change the change so the whole world could see. Change the change for a better future. So we don't have to depend on our next day. I say change the change within we society. Otherwise we have a bandit factory. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't start with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why youth, we leave all the weight Cause in most leaders, we done a lost faith They full of such greed, oh father I plead 
please Lord have some mercy on the seas Cause the youth are trying their best But they're born in this place of a lies and commerce So eventually when things get heavy Chances are they might turn out just like we But you see, Change. could put an end to all this foolishness Change. and But break this chain link of sadness Change could help our leaders to grow and start preparing youths for tomorrow. Don't see change as something timely and start seeing change as your duty. To stop them from hurting one day is we had to point way. So change the change for better transparency. Change the change, change for better economy. Change the change so no man one day will take we money and just fly away and say, and stop saying culture is in good hands But things won't change despite all we do If change doesn't start with you Yeah, yeah, yeah For those who don't know how to arrange or what I might mean by change the change It means restructure what is regular so that we can have a different culture From Kaiso they get solutions but still they treat us like these stupid ones They neglecting we repeatedly constantly insulting our country but if we change, change, we'll understand to value each other And change would mean there's a better future I hope one day our leaders know True culture and media is how people grow While they're fighting politically Wasting the nation's time and money They're paying people for advisory But like my own it is for free So change the change for the struggling pan man Change the change for that old Kaisonian Change the change for the elderly So grandma and grandpa could die happy I say change the change for all opposition So next time they'll approve legislation But things won't change despite all we do If change doesn't start with you Get up one morning, your elders have something, you don't know how they get it, but you want to use it, but if you ask them old people, to get the things what they went through, ask them this any day, and your parents sure to say, black man have to keep on jamming, for black man to get a little something, pick up your mind brother that you're able to get a bully and jam with the devil Why? black man have to keep Up your mind, brother, that you're ready to see off show and hold your boat steady. Black man has to keep on jamming for black man to get a little something. So when you hear you get a little something with that dragon eye, you keep watching because I don't tell you already. Black man will get nothing easy. Get up one morning, hey. and oil money running. Oh. How it come you don't know, so that it can how the thing go. But if they read about you, Raya, they wanna find out the pressure. How we get so much old hell to get a penny from TLL. Black man now to keep on jamming, or black man to get a little something. You got to take up your own cash money, pay people for your own refinery. Black man now to keep on jamming. Black man to get a little something Make up your 
mind to be a magician To make money out of scrap iron Black man have to keep on jamming For black man to get a little something So when you hear yeah, you get a little something With that eagle eye you keep watching Because I don't tell you already Black man don't get nothing easy Say we got up one morning, hey. independence happening, oh. getting the thing come easy, now they're taking liberty, but if they know about petition, we are to send to England, for some woman to tell we, we in this colony free, black man have to keep on jabbing, for black man to get a little something, you got to go to conference in England to get independence in your own land, black man have to keep on Black man to get a little something People hold you, humiliate you Turn on and sell you, and then they free you Black man now to keep on jamming For black man to get a little something So when you hear you get a little something With that dragon eye you keep watching Because I don't tell you already Black man don't get nothing easy When a black man gets something, he got to start thinking. You get it there easy. He got to practice economy. From getting licks from the slave master to become the land owner, brother, is a terrible journey. Back with plenty brutality. Black man now to keep on jamming. For black man to get a little something, you got to rise up. You got to stand up. Make up your mind, you will always stay on top. Black man now to keep on jamming. For black man to get a little something You got to go to conference in England To get independence in your own land Black man have to keep on jamming For black man to get a little something You got to take up your own cash money Pay people for your own refinery Black man have to keep on jamming For black man to get a little something Make up your mind to be a magician To make money out of scrap iron Black man have to keep on jamming For black The Bible said, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. There is a poem that says children learn what they live. If a child live with criticism, they learn to condemn. If a child live with hostility, they learn to fight. If a child live with ridicule, they learn to be shy. If a child live with shame, they learn to feel guilty. If a child live with tolerance, they learn to be patient. If a child live with encouragement, they learn confidence. If a child live with praise, they learn to appreciate. If a child live with fairness, they learn justice. If a child live with security, they learn to have faith. If a child live with approval, they learn to like themselves. And if a child live with acceptance and friendship, then they will learn to find love in the world. One of the most meaningful gifts a parent can give to a child is to acknowledge their own mistake, to say, I was wrong here, or I'm sorry. This is so powerful because it also gives a child permission to make a mistake to admit having messed up and still be okay.
Parents should be aware that children will follow your example more than your advice. Respect your children so they may learn to respect themselves and others. Too many adults demand respect without showing any respect to others. As our children grow, they will remember more who was there and not what was spent on them. Kids will outgrow their toy and outfits, but they will never outgrow time and love. Listen earnestly to anything your children want to tell you, no matter what. If you don't listen eagerly to the little stuff when they are little, they won't tell you the big stuff when they are big. Because to them, all of it has always been a big stuff. We can be around our children all day. But if we don't spend quality time with them, if we don't pay attention to them or talk to them and listen to them, it may not matter to them that we're around. Do not ask your children to strive for extraordinary lives. Such striving may seem admirable, but it is the way of foolishness. Help them instead to find the wonder and the marvel of an ordinary life. Show them the joy of tasting tomatoes, apples and pears. Show them how to cry when pets and people die. Show them the infinite pleasure in the touch of a hand and make the ordinary come alive for them. The extraordinary will take care of itself. It is not only what we do for our children, but what we have taught them to do for themselves that will make them successful human beings. Yes, and 
God bless a man That man must stand He must stand, I say yeah. Jesus alone is the one who 
have the real answer. The one on the throne is the true and loving father. He will hold your hand and keep you from going under. He will make you stand and let you know he's a fixer. You know this struggle sometimes Cover me out That the wrong thing wouldn't come out No, Lord Cover me while you fix it Cover me while you fix it Cover me while you fix it Jesus, cover me Cover the Christian In the midst of aggression With the power of the right hand Jesus, cover, cover, cover Them helpless children Jesus, cover, 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 cover me, cover me, cover me. Truer words were never spoken. The less you associate with some people, the more your life will improve. Anytime you tolerate mediocrity in others, it increases your mediocrity. An important attribute in successful people is their impatience with negative thinking and negative acting people. As you grow, your associates will change. Some of your friends will not want you to go on. They will want you to stay where they are. Friends that don't help you climb will want you to crawl. Your friends will stretch your vision or choke your dream. Those that don't increase you will eventually decrease you. Consider this. Never receive counsel from unproductive people. Never discuss your problems with someone incapable of contributing to the solution, because those who never succeed themselves are always first to tell you how. Not everyone has a right to speak into your life. You are certain to get the worst of the bargain when you exchange ideas with the wrong person. Don't follow anyone who's not going anywhere. With some people, you spend an evening. With others, you invest it. Be careful where you stop to inquire for directions along the road of life. Wise is the person who fortifies his life with the right friendships. If you run with wolves, you will learn how to howl. But if you associate with eagles, you will learn how to soar to great heights. A mirror reflects a man's face. But what he is really like is shown by the kind of friends he chooses. The simple but true fact of life is that you become like those with whom you closely associate, for the good and the bad. Note, be not mistaken. This is applicable to family as well as friends. Yes, do love, appreciate and be thankful for your family, for they will always be your family, no matter what. Just know that they are human first. And though they are family to you, they may be a friend to someone else and will fit somewhere in the criteria above. In prosperity, our friends know us. In adversity, we know our friends. Never make someone a priority when you are only an option for them. If you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It is a prevailing attitude. Yes, 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 D is Diana. She's considered to be the storm. A is yours truly on some LeBourne Wall Street. And of course, T is no other than Thomas Marshall Nesbitt, the commissioner in Newark. And as we always say, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what color T-shirt you wear. You wear a mauve T-shirt. You wear a burgundy T-shirt. You wear a salmon T-shirt. 
You're welcome in the village with the dad triplets on WZYE 95.9 FM. Doesn't matter what planet you're from. You're from Mazatanius, Venerinius, Sonarinius. Doesn't matter what planet you're from. You're welcome in the village with the dad triplets on WZYE 95.9 FM. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, in the village, we originate, we don't imitate. Let me say a special welcome back to no other than Diana Wavy, Stormy, The Storm, Benskin, Greta, McDonald, The Poetess, The Poetress, The Motivational Speaker from St. Catherine's Barbados, <laughs> going to the street that we're going to be nameless, no other than Diana, Waveney, Benskin, McDonald, boy. Yeah, yeah, villagers. I ain't totally back yet, but I'm out of an area where I had no electricity. I'm completely gone. So I've relocated to be able to partake and to be close to catching my avion when I'm ready to go. So good night, villagers. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for your support. And uh, what's going on, Anselm? Everything quiet for the while. Let me welcome in no other than Thomas. E. Marshall, the Commissioner Nesbitt, from the well-known place in South, called Salibia. It's so, not in the South. Oh, my God. Sal you a Guyanese or some, Somebody says Salibia, which is close to Sandy Grandi, also close to Toko. But I think he went to school in Penal, no other oh, than oh. Thomas E, the Commissioner Marshall Nisbet boy. Tommy, you went to school in Penal. <laughs> <laughs> Unmute your mic, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for, thanks for <laughs> telling me to unmute my mic. Here we go. That, you know, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. But um, <laughs> I, I passed through Penal to go to school. It was actually that was, did I say that? It was actually Palo Seco. Didn't I say you passed through Pinal to go to school? Did I say that? I don't know. No, you didn't. You said you from Trumaca. What do you know anyway? What did I say? What did I say? You went to school in Pinal. Re rewind it and oh, see what, what you I want me. I mean you had to pass through Pinal to go to school in Palo Seco. I get I get my peas mix up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get my peas mix up. One of these days you'll get it together. No worries. I'm, yeah, you I'm know what it is, man? It's better late than never sometimes, you know. <laughs> you know I mean? But um, it's a pleasure being in the village and look forward to a beautiful evening. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, you know, time. we always we always have splendid first evenings here in the village with the Dark Triplets and WZYE 95.9 FM. I mean, since we started this program, you know, we have... um. We have had some loyal, 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 loyal people. And, and the list has grown. Yeah. Right. yeah. We have loyal, listeners, loyal <laughs> listeners, loyal people on social media and Facebook. And, you know, and in addition to the radio listeners, yeah, they stay with you. Right. All yeah. we want to do is to bring information from both sides of the spectrum. And that's right. There are sometimes we may disagree, but, you know, we don't make it disrespectful. You see, and that's what's important. Uh, we have one time a guy come in here the first time and he calling people all kind of names. We run him. Mm -hmm. we, we, we appreciate we those who, 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 who stay with us and are respectful, especially the village sweethearts. I'm not calling any names. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're a quick learner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, for all the people who have been with us from day one, you know, you, 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 you know, you're not supposed to call names, but they know who they are. That have been loyal every Tuesday, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Loyal, 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 loyal to us. And you know, we appreciate that. And you know, we are talking about this at some point in time. We're gonna have to go to Trinidad and throw a free pool. Remember you just throw a free pool in Trinidad? Yeah, right? we are we're, we're gonna, we're gonna call we're gonna call it listener appreciation night. Co correct is right, correct is right. Everybody could dress up in the best Dan Dada, you know what I mean. And mm. and we could have a we could have a beautiful, splendiferous, marvelous, tremendous, splendastic, splendacular, wondrous night. 
Oh, so I, I could wear my um cat suit for any then. All right. No, 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 Ready? no, 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 no. no cat suit allowed. No cat suit. Ready? Don't worry about that. No cat suit. Ready? 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 You ready got a cat suit for your boy. No, nah, you and Renny got to deal with that privately. <laughs> Why can't I wear my cat suit to the free call? You say it's a free call. No, 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 no. We want we want well-dressed. Well-dressed. I can put my cat suit with a nice jacket, blazer, and some high heel boots. No, 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 no. We, 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 Ready? We, we. I'm wearing my cap suit, all right? I ain't studying hands, <laughs> Let me say, of course, always first in the village is Nadia. Nadia, say good evening, everyone. Good evening to you, Nadia. Good evening, Nadia. Yeah, and Nadia, mixing up the emojis. I got red, blue, <laughs> black. Yeah, yeah, Nadia. You know? One thing with Nadia, Nadia is a quick learner, you know? Tommy boy, I know what happened, boy. Tommy them emojis, Nadia get it. <laughs> go, on, go on in cyberspace, boy. <laughs> I, I'm appreciative. We she said good evening. But I'm, Nadia, I'm, I know what you do with them um, emojis with Tommy, you know, but Nadia, you that I'm extremely appreciative. <laughs> Dana, Dana Benskin, the storm and Stormy. Good afternoon. Hey, Stormy, come back from vacation yet? No, Stormy can come back vacation and I ain't back yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What boy that that boy that dog, you know. Where he is in an all inclusive? Huh? Is that all inclusive he's staying? Yeah, and he have a girlfriend there too. Oh god. What watch your watch yourself, you know. In China, they have um what foot and mouth disease going around now, you know. You know that that's serious, you know, that foot and mouth disease. You know? Ah, my dog don't have no foot and mouth disease. My dog is vaccinated. Oh, from I, from, I, from COVID nineteen? Vaccinated against all kind of things. And I understand, uh, understand he, he he looks forward every night to his hemp infused cookies. Well, you mm. mean that poor dog getting high every night now? <laughs> we hey. see we see the um the time it, it we, we, we spring forward eh? <laughs> so one good thing is one, one good thing is on vacation he, he got his groove back. Yeah, yeah, he gained two doses, you know. He gained one at six and one at seven. Right? Yeah, yeah, I understand he went through two packs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Stella, yeah. Stella, the, Stella, the feeling is contagious. Or should I say the, the program is a contagious one for both you and... My name is Stella. Don't break it up. Okay, all right, mm. all right. Let me say good evening, Nadia. Say good evening to Rennie, Albert, Vonnie, Ken, John, Hailey, Ellis, Troy. Takisha, Takisha was second in the village tonight. Welcome. Takisha, hey. Diana, the storm. You get some... What is that? Move, move emojis, move purple. Up. purple. Well, purple yeah. and move is not si similar. No. Each other. Takisha says, "Answer good night." Yeah, I got enough there. Tommy, Tommy, yeah. you, you, you got a whole line, boy. You yeah, fix yeah. your business, fix, Tommy. I'm always appreciative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nadia, Lana, Rose, Carice, Marisha, Miss Coover, John, Erica, John. Hey, I ain't see Erica in a while. Erica, where's your story, girl? I met you, my king, you know. Albert, Vonnie, Ellis, Raj, V, Choi, Chris, Tropics, Daryl, Rennie, Ken, Capiza, Anderson. All you, I wonder when um, Arjun coming tonight. If his first sentence will have anything to do with p and I'm wondering. Because he's very consistent, you know. Highly inside, what tax? Yeah, highly. I, 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 I just always come third, boy. Third, third, third all the time. You know, only love in the village, no room for hate or negativity. Just love all the time, 100. all the time, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Look, the love doctor, boy. Doctor Love is in, eh? Doctor Love is in the house, boy. Doctor Love say good evening, brothers and sisters. Love is all I bring. <laughs> oh God. The man sending out pure organic, toxic free love to all who in need, all color, creed, and race. Love will put you in a comfortable place. Oh God, the man right in the home now, yes. The man rhyming, boy. Man of lyrics. I like let me, let your place, boy. He said, my me, love. Man, man of lyrics. Huh? Let, me, let, me, let me add to it, Dr. Love. Love is the key to life. Hate kills. Yeah, yeah. Full 100. He said, my love is priceless. It's free. All I ask in return is you give back some to me. Oh, God. Yeah, hey. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Hey. That's oh, what God, we're talking boy. about. Dana, really? Dana, I feel when you pour on that cat suit. You got to... <laughs> You gotta, you gotta drop some, you gotta drop some words, you know. You ain't see the man come. Look, look at them emojis. Even your heart broken. 
Santi Mani table, even X ten point two, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, That's what you're talking about. That's Trinity the bone. Yeah, boy, look at them. Yeah, I, I tell you. Bonnie Roberts, good night to you. Good night to all and all locked on, and the lovely ladies soon to be online. Good night. Be safe and trust in the Lord. Pressure here. Pressure, boy. Pressure. Pressure here too, you know. Um. um pressure here too, you know. Vonnie, we getting snow this <laughs> When we get snow, you know, it's pressure, you know. You gotta go out and shovel that snow, you know. It's easy, you know. In that yeah, I hear, I, I hear three feet up by me, boy. You gotta bundle up, boy. Bundle up. What is bundle up in Trinidad? I, you know, I don't understand how people could wear corduroy pants and sweaters in Trinidad. Hey. I, I don't understand that. And jacket, leather jacket. And and tall boots. I see some woman in tall boots in Trinidad, boy. I say, but what? What yeah, kind of madness is that? Huh? When, when you go in the garden, you need tall boots. No, when I mean, I thought when when the winter come and you want to cover up your, your, your all up all up to your knee up there, wear tall boots. Yeah, when you that's know that true. people wearing them, them wearing tall boots, and they just complain all kind of thing about America and they fall in America. Hey. Judy say hello, hello to you, Judy. I don't start laughing, and some thanks for the sparks in the village family. <laughs> Judy, I don't know where you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the Keisha said not easy living in Trinidad. All your all your Trinidad is a real place, yeah. I don't <laughs> care what nobody say. Trinidad is a real place. If you could say what they want. You're yeah, talking about Trinidad, you're talking about Trinidad, Colorado? No, Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Good night to Keisha, darling. Many running out their home lands into Trinidad and making it so to try hold on to what God provides. Uh, Vonnie Roberts to Keisha. And you know there will be someone defending that, saying things nice here. <laughs> hey, Vonnie, I, 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 look, 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 look like a stick. You know, like when a 45 stick? I, 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 Vonnie, you see? All right. Uh, let me go put words in my mouth. I will leave Vonnie alone. He didn't put my name to it, so I will leave it alone. He was talking you know, about that. I know what I'm saying. The, mm. truth, the truth be told, regardless of where you are, whether it's 40, 40 feet of snow, mm. once you're alive, it's a great day. Listen, once you wake up in the morning and you put your foot on the ground and you step off the bed, it's a great day. Yep. It's a great Indeed. day. Regardless of where you are. Yeah? Yeah? And But, but look, Vonny come, Von, you see? Vonny changed the tune. He said, Judy, we give thanks to the Lord every day. It's his grace that keeps us going. But it keeps all of us going. You understand? In spite of whatever it is. Yeah, of course it's relevant to them. Denise, Denise, have a new a new thing tonight, boy. DG, Denise, welcome. How are you? We haven't seen Denise in we haven't seen Denise in a while, right? Well, I want look. She going back to DG too, boy. She. I getting so fed up with the politics here. When you listen to all the people, it's only it's only supporting their parties, even when wrong. Some way they find excuses. Funny, I'm glad you you're starting to figure that out. Hmm. I'm glad you now starting to figure that out, Vonnie. And Vonnie, when your party do wrong too, I want to see you comment here. I in call them out. Yes, correct is right. Because I have our next video to play to her about the words that the prime minister used, eh? mm. which was unbecoming of a prime minister, calling people about lies, lies laden by. Oh, eh? That is unbecoming of a prime minister. But you see, when the PNM Prime Minister say something. Everybody's silent like a lamb. All you remember when Stuart Young called people um termites and 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 and, and potongs? Mm -hmm. Right? Nobody didn't say nothing. Nobody, well, not nobody. Most people didn't say anything. Right? They're silent like a lamb. Right? And 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 we but listen, when when um, um <coughs> David Nakid call the, the president an insipid jackass. Mm -hmm. All didn't say nothing. All is still quiet. All is silent. When Anil Roberts was get, get, didn't get arrested for WDD, WWD, when he didn't almost get arrested for WWD, all they do not, all they defend him. And then he come and apologize. All they have to stop defending them kind of thing. Everybody. I'll be back. She says she's trying to join. I gotta go get her. I'll be right back. Okay, okay. We had to stop defending them kind of thing. It's about country. 
Yes, yeah, so, I agree with you, Vonny. I agree with you. But all are we. All are we. Not because you're trying to make your party better or you're defending something against your party. We have a man in the parliament who get convicted. Eh? We ain't say nothing about that. Right? When something happened to somebody, we go back to make an excuse what happened to them in the past. Oh, Anil Roberts was um was WWD, um Senator, the Senator who was arrested, get, get caught for drunk driving, and he was in the parliament too. That is the excuse. Yeah? Well, all we, we wish that it becomes country first and not party. Yeah. Listen, support your party. I don't have no problem with people supporting their party. Eh? I want you to support whichever party you want to support. You want to support the PNM? I am a supporter of the PNM. Me afraid to tell nobody that. I am a full supporter of the PNM, but I'm not supporting wrong. I'm not supporting it. Right? If I hear wrong and I see wrong, I go talk about it. Right? You know those talk about me like a dog on the radio station. Like a dog on the radio station. But you really think I care? Right? You know, Tommy, what is he saying again? The repelled stones are barren mango trees. Correct. The repelled stones are barren mango trees. All right? We need some critical thinkers in the country on both sides of the political divide. Both sides of the political divide. And stop taking sense and make it stop taking nonsense and make it into sense. Plain smart with foolishness. Yes. And sometimes it's the sense doesn't be sensing. The sensing, sensing. True. But them does make it make sense. It's all about size, you know. I ain't calling one size. Huh? Yeah. Judy said, Vonnie, I turned off my TV. I only listen to beautiful music. Just to put my smile on happy, peaceful spirit. Listening to them damaged spirits. Yes, and I want you guys to go to my page, yeah? Go to my Facebook page. All you go see. On my Facebook page, where they show you most of the posts, they have about... Let me see if I go to my Facebook post. I, mean. I didn't even realize this. I just realized this. When I open my Facebook page, I want to show you something. I want to show you all something. You see, you can't just talk the talk, you know. You have to walk the walk. Let me show you something. Eh? I want to show you something. I didn't even notice this. I just noticed this today. Here we go. I'm going to share this. All right. Watch this. You see on the left hand side there? Mm -hmm. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of nine on my home page is quotes. Eight out of nine. In order to inspire people for a better tomorrow. Eight out of nine of them. You see, I didn't even notice that. Normally, you'll have people in there that's there, right? So look at that. Eight out of nine. That is what it is. You see? Okay, Anselm, can you see her in the background? So, He's trying to go, come in. Okay. Yeah. You see that? Nice, you see it. Oh, dear. Lana, welcome. Yeah, Judy, I be, I, yeah, that's good. No stress in that. You're damn right of trying okay, to I'm... that one. Eh? I wonder why Anselm run away from my youth to the Big Apple. <laughs> he had no choice. Oh, God. Bunny, let me tell you why I run away, eh? My mother, my mother in Chumakak, my mother who lived in Chumakak, we live in Chumakak, building one apartment, 2 1. Right? What happened is that she left us two okay, years ago. She said she's in the background now, Anselm. No, 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 no. She cannot be in the background. Oh, see that. Tell her, tell her um, hold on. Eh? No, she's not in the background. If she's All right. Back, you know, she be there she go. There she go now. She now oh, came okay. in. Right, right. Okay. She just came in. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you left. So we seen you in the background. Just give us a few minutes. Yeah. We have, um. let's see. Hey, Diana, you're back. Trinidad Margo, welcome. Okay. You, you see her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Paul, yes, Rick, yes. Paul Rick Axon, Anselm. Trinidad is a real place. Yes. You know that is a real place. You may not like it, but it's a real place. All you, you know what? Some of you all should go to some other places. I will send all you to some places other than Trinidad. Huh? Yeah, get them a virtual tour. Yeah, okay, all you have virtual tour. And some when you come to Trinidad, you have to keep a party for all your loyal listeners. Yeah, 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 yeah. We must do that. 
must do that. Yeah. Let me see. Nana, welcome. Coconut baked with butter. Okay, let's bring in our guest for the night. <laughs> Miguel Sanders. Welcome. Miguel Sanders says, Miguel Sanders, strange. No one remembers you from Chumaca. Miguel, Miguel, I've, I've, let me tell you this. Miguel, go up there, go to Chumaca, and ask them for a fellow named Butty. You just, Miguel. Miguel's I, a baby. I, yeah, Miguel. When, when Miguel and just come out, boy? No, he's a baby. Remember how long ago you left? Yeah. Yeah, you see, Miguel, you see, that's the problem. Miguel don't even know how long I left. But he's coming and saying that. And Vonnie's saying, I run away as a youth. Yeah, Vonnie. Mama, oh, I was, I was making a point. Two years, my mother left Chumaka Clavantel, left for four kids. Four male kids in Chumaka Clavantel building one apartment, two one. Four of us, eh? Four of us, by our lonesome. We made it for two years without going to jail, without any kind of problems, all by our lonesome. We had to cook for ourselves. We had to wash for ourselves. We had to bring water for ourselves. We had to go to school for ourselves. And four of us in a two-bedroom apartment paying $12 a month rent. And we never owed one month rent. We was fully I'm to don't pay him no mind. You know, you know what loyal no, listeners? No one knows you. You've never done anything for the area. Miguel, go and take a chill pill and relax. All right? No. Yeah. You see, you see, there you go. No, 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 that, that, no, no, that, no, that, no, 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 that they don't know. And if mm -hmm. you tell them that they don't know, they still don't want to know that they don't know, even though mm -hmm. you're telling them that they don't know. And they good. will never know that they don't know. Okay, good. Leave him <laughs> now. Let's proceed. No, but mm -hmm. she, I think she will. I think Miss Jackson, I think she just left a little bit. Okay, here she is back now. Here she is back now. Here she is. Mm -hmm. Let's bring her in. Hello. A pleasant welcome to you, to Indie Village with the Dat Triplets on WZY 95.9 FM. You are in with the Dat is Deity, D is Diana, Diana is considerably the storm. I am Anselm or Wall Street, and T is Tommy, who is a commissioner here in Newark, New Jersey. Welcome to Indie Village with the Dat Triplets on WZY 95.9 FM. How are you doing today? Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Unmute your mic. Your mic. Hold up, I got, we we gotta we gotta take a hold. Let me hold on. Unmute. Not hearing you. Not hearing you. Let me see if I can unmute her. I don't think I can. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Okay, I think you just unmute your mic. How are you? Oh, she's on mic. Okay. You're not hearing you. Not hearing you. We're not hearing. You. Hold up. We're not hearing you. You have to unmute your mic. Let me turn her message here. Let me turn her message. Her mic is unmuted, though. It's unmuted, but we're still not hearing. Volume. Turn up the volume, then. Volume up. Volume up. Volume. If you're hearing us. Turn up. Give us a thumbs up, but we're still not hearing. Tell, 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 tell her, tell, can you send our text message? I'm doing it now. Yeah. So tell I'm her we not hearing. Device. Yeah. So let me see if I could let me see if I could bring out. Um, we're not hearing. Let me see if I could bring out. Um, uh, Miss Jackson, are you hearing us? We're not hearing you. Hi, Miss Jackson. Yeah, I think um, we're not here. We're not here enough. So anyway, while 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 she tried to fix that, you know, folks, it's it 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 is sometimes when you know people looking for attention, and you know they don't know they, they just don't know. She says it might be on our side because she's hearing us. 
and it was no, no, something on our on your end there. No, it's not anything on our end. She said she's unmuted. The volume is up all the way. Can she go uh, and come back in? Look, here she is. Talk now. Are you hearing me now? Here we now, go. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we are hearing you now. Yes. How are you doing? Oh, How are you doing? I am, I am blessed. I am blessed. First of all, is it Miss Jackson or Mrs. Jackson? It's Miss Jackson. It's Miss Jackson. Okay. okay. Yes. Like, sorry, Miss Jackson. It's Miss Jackson. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Never so, so Miss Jackson, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? I am great today. I had a busy day, but I'm great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You had a busy day. So, just oh, oh, what is your day like? What is your day like? All right. So, I'll explain what took place today. I'm a humanitarian first. So, mm -hmm. but every day I'm out in various communities because we have. A lot of social problems in Trinidad right now um, that's plaguing us. So the communities, many families, they don't have bread on the table. They don't have food. Um, many single mothers are reaching out asking for aid. So as you can see, I didn't even get to showers yet. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> greasy and shiny. <laughs> yes, but all well and good. God is good. No, Miss Jackson, let's quickly yes, go to this, right? Mm -hmm. When did you become political leader in the PDP? When did you become <laughs> deputy political leader in the PDP? I was the interim deputy political leader from May the 1st, when we had a law. She's frozen. The internet froze. Yeah. Lunch at the higher... Mm. Are you there? You're back. Yes. Yeah. Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Because you made the first. May the first, we had our official launch at mm. the Hyatt. Mm -hmm. mm. Internet is poor. I wonder if you could do it by phone. Mm -hmm. She's back. She's back. She's frozen. Yeah, internet is in and out. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's the internet. Yeah. Yes. Your internet okay. is choppy, so we'll go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, you're back. Yes, I'm here. So tell us, when did you become, you were talking about when there was the launch at the Hyatt. When did you become deputy political leader in the PDP? May the 1st, 2022. Yeah. yeah. May the 1st, 2022. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, was that an elected position or was that a selected position? That is a selected position by the political leader. He reserves okay. the right to select the DPLs of the party. Okay. And mm -hmm. during your time there, did you have any discussions with any of the other deputy political leaders, including Suzette Lau? Of course, yes. So so you guys will talk about policies within the, 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 the PDP? Definitely, definitely, mm -hmm. yes. Now, did you guys have any, like, executive meetings with the PDP where you guys will get together and talk about policies and so on? Definitely, without us, without saying. Mm -hmm. What about a manifesto? Did the PDP ever have a manifesto? We also have a mandate, yes. Well, mm -hmm. not, not a mandate, a manifesto that people can see what are some of the things that the PDP is going to do if they become, if they are elected in Trinidad and Tobago. And we know we have a um, local election coming up. Mm -hmm. If they are um, selected, so to speak, or elected, Mm -hmm. Where is that the political leader of the PDP can become the mayor of Port of Spain? Is there a manifesto floating out? Somewhere? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, okay. But how come that has never been made public? Maybe you can direct that question to the political leader of the party. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, how often did PDP executive meet? How often did they meet? We had meetings once every week. Mm -hmm. Once every week. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That, those meetings were in Tobago, in Trinidad, or what? Some of them be in virtual meetings, and some of them in um, the headquarters in Trinidad. Yeah. E L P ninety five point nine okay. FM, minute, Maplewood, New Jersey. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So hold one minute. Okay, we gotta go for sure. a quick station identification. Sure, so hold sure. one minute. It's in the village with the dad triplets on WZY ninety five point nine FM. We're gonna go for a quick station identification. We have with us tonight, you know, Miss Cazelle Jackson former deputy political leader of the PDP, who is talking with us tonight. Stick and stay. We'll be right back after this short message. You're listening to WZYE 95.9 FM.
You are listening to WZYP 95.9 FM, the most influential name in Caribbean radio in the tri-state area. Broadcasting from East Orange, New Jersey, the most influential name in Caribbean radio, WZYE 95.9 FM. We are back with you. It's in the village with the Dak Triplets on WZYE 95.9 FM. We have with us tonight Mrs. Ms. Kazell Jackson former deputy political leader of the PDP who has joined us tonight. And she has taken her time to decide to be with us tonight. Now, Ms. Jackson, there was yeah. something that people have been saying, right? Mm -hmm. That Watson Duke ever pay certain individuals in certain communities in order to walk in those communities? Well, I wouldn't say payment for walking. So it wasn't a barter exchange. And um, for persons to walk, persons were walking because they had truly believed and they wanted change. Um, in terms of assistance in the community, so we would normally assist in some way possible if it's distribution of bread or food. Uh, so we never went empty handed. We always went, because these are impoverished communities, so we would always go in with something. Yeah. But there so, was no payment to walk. Right. So no one wasn't paid, no one wasn't paid beforehand in order for the um, as far as far as I knew, no. Okay, okay. Because you know, some people just have that question with yes, um, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, your relationship, not not relationship per se, but mm -hmm. your relationship with Mr. Watson Duke, right? Mm -hmm. Was that before or after you became political leader, deputy political leader? Excuse me. That was after. That was after. Yes. Okay. So you haven't been in the PDP a very long time, so to speak? No, I started in the PDP in December 2021. Okay, okay, all right. Now, this is, this is something that's been very prevalent in mm -hmm. the media, right? Mm -hmm. And you had stated that you slapped Mr. Watson Duke because you caught him with another man. Is that fact or fiction? If that is fact or fiction, I, I prefer not to answer questions on his sexuality but you can ask him that directly no but you made you made no you made these are legal issues right now so i think you would understand that it would be a miss of me to answer such questions okay okay mm -hmm. all right but i thought i thought i heard you in another program saying that you 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 you, you took that back no i did not i never retracted any statement i made okay all right there was mm -hmm. no retraction what no. about the one with okay so 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 so, so listen here. I want you to listen to this, right? Yeah. And let me play this for you. I want you to listen to this, and I want you to give me your feedback on this. Oh, sure. Give us one, one minute mm -hmm. here. Listen to this. and um, Because I'd rather you listen to it. This is with respect to um, THA Chief Farley Chavez Augustine. Take a listen to this. I even spoke to you about your sexuality even before it came to the public forum. I have nothing against gay people. I have nothing against bisexual people. I have nothing against people's choices in terms of heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual. But at the same time, I want to have I wanted to have that meeting to sit down and speak with you to know exactly what is happening because people talk a lot of things in public space. We know that. But when people can draw it to my attention that you're given a particular designer larger contract for more money than people who would have bid cheaper prices because you were the man. Ms. Jackson, why put that into the public space if you felt that that wasn't accurate? Why put that out into the public space? You need to, you need to focus on what you're really asking. Are you speaking about Watson Duke or are you speaking about um, no. um, Farley? Specifically, this is about THHC Farley Chavez Augusta. Right, but you, you were just asking me about Watson Solomon Duke. So steer your question so that it would be very coherent. I'm a media personality as well. So you must be coherent for your listeners because we can't be talking about Watson Duke and then almost immediately you're speaking about Farley. So address your question. You feel free to ask me. I'm a very candid person. Feel, feel free to ask me directly what you want to know. Well, Are Jack you asking if what I said about Far um, Farley Chavez Augustine, that was information that was coming to the table, coming to us, um, and it was not in a personal setting. It was in a public setting. People were on public media platforms sending these um, allegations, and yes, 
um, for a level of transparency within a party. If we are pledging a new form of politics, if we are pledging to have a level of transparency and openness, then I will not shy away from that which is already being asked. So yes, I, I did ask that question. Well, well, let me say this. With respect to your statement regarding coherent, I asked you a specific mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. about Mr. Watson Duke's fact or fiction, and you said yes. that you couldn't answer it because mm -hmm. of what was legal. So I yes. moved on to the next question. No, before... then you should have said to me, I'm, I'm moving on now to ask another question. You don't have to play my video. I'm, I'm very recollective of everything that I see. Well, and, no. Uh, yeah? No, I was telling you Mm -hmm. about THH Chief Farley Chavez Augustine, and then I played the video so I yes. can let you hear. I know you know it, yeah. but I don't want to make up something or put some words out there. No, I but, don't think you would do that. You're a man of integrity. Oh, you, you, uh, I appreciate that very much. Yeah, you're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you so very kindly. Yes. Yeah. So those two things were, 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 were sort of things that if you had a choice, you wouldn't do those things again. I'll do it the same way, all over again. You'll do it the same way, all right. All and right. I, I, I tell you, I stand in my truth. Mm -hmm. Now, are you still a member of the PDP? No, I am not. I am not a member of the Progressive Democratic Patriots. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is there some other party you may be looking at to join at some point in time in the future? I can't see myself joining another party based on my political ideology has not changed. However, in terms of my political direction, whether I would go and open my own party, I am still before God with prayer, but I have not abandoned my mantra to lead the poor. And I think that is my main motive. It is my main goal. In the absence of leadership, in the absence of somebody that's actually fighting, you have to really understand, come aside from the soap opera politics, all the laugh, all the entertainment, um, is also a distraction. Because the people on the ground, those are the ones that are suffering in Trinidad and Tobago. We have a hunger issue. We have where food prices are continuously escalating. We have gas prices escalating. We have the cost of living escalating. We have a sense of idleness and hopelessness on the island. We have unemployment that is rising. We have crime rate that is escalating to a state of national as well as health security. We are in a crisis. And to, to, to move away from the real issue and the issues that are plaguing the common man is bread and butter issues. Yes? Now, mm -hmm. Mr. Jackson, mm -hmm. you talked about distractions, right? Mm -hmm. And you talked about distractions in the media, right? Yes. I want to play another video for you. Because... Don't play any more videos. You can just simply state it to me. My attention span is not very long. So okay. state it to me, and I will then right. I will go ahead and answer with your respect, questions. With respect to the allegation, with respect mm -hmm. to the prime minister texting you, and that you is say not, that, that is not an allegation; it is a fact. So when I oh. said to him, I what what I would have expected from a prime minister. Now I would I am standing for many. I'm standing for many persons that have are victims of revenge porn that probably would have sent their videos, their pictures in a very personal and private setting. There is a litigation right now. To mitigate, we have to also litigate. And there are laws in terms of cybersecurity that we need to enforce certain policies so that such perpetrators of these acts, because these are not people that would have been enemies. These are persons that would have been friends or in relationship in the most personal and confidential manner, that after all goes south, they would use revenge porn to put out things in the public setting, which I would have expected the prime minister instead of using more scandal and more jokes um, to come as the prime minister and say he has a zero tolerance for revenge porn. He has a zero tolerance for persons who are perpetrating these forms of nudity. He has a zero tolerance for such crime against women and even men, because men are also victims. But not to make a joke and a mockery. There's a time and a place for everything. Because with my, with my crisis that took place, um, personally, it also lent itself to a public platform or springboard because there are many persons who reach out to me having similar problems. So we have a national issue that needs to be addressed. So clearly he saw the videos. All well and good. We'll address it as the prime minister, as the figurehead in Trinidad and Tobago for all those women who may not have a voice like myself who may not stand up for them for themselves and fight against another bully. 
stand up and say something as a prime minister. I don't expect more pikong and more jokes from you as a prime minister. Yes? And when he would have said that in terms of, um, he knows Tobago know about foot and mouth, but juke foot is all about, um, that level of inference. I said to him in, a, in, in my um, video that you yourself would have sent me a WhatsApp message. You yourself would have probably make an attempt, right? So don't, put, don't call Kettle Black. Let's buy away from these kind of pecong and these negative, these negative issues when you have a country that right now is in a state of emergency. Deal with some of the critical issues. That cybersecurity is also an issue. You know, Ms. Jackson, I hear you, eh? and I, um, I watch a lot of your videos, and I see the good things you're trying to do. I saw you on the Beatum, um, I saw you on the Beatum the other day in the landfill, you know, mm -hmm. speaking to people in who the Labas. In, yes. In, yeah, well, the Labas. I grew up in yeah. Chumaka Cavantil. It's Chumaka oh, beautiful. Cavantil. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you understand? So I, yeah. I know about the Labas very much. Yes. You know? But, but my thing is this, Miss Jackson. Mm -hmm. Some of the same things that you are saying that shouldn't be done, mm -hmm. which should not have been done to you, mm -hmm. it seemed like you were doing some of the same things. Did you have to answer the prime minister with your pecong as well? So you, you know, it's like no, that is not pecong, my dear. That is a factual statement. I was not joking about that. And listen to my video in entirety. I I redirected where his attention should be. Mm. Yeah, that's not pecong. I am not laughing. <laughs> it's not comedy. This is not a comedy fest. We are in a real country with real issues. But to address the issue, I'm not going to sweep it under the carpet either. Do you, do, do, do you think your political career in Trinidad is over? You go on the ground and ask the people and you'll understand that I think my career has just started. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you have to join. You, you eventually have to join a party or start your own party, right? A decision will have to be made. Definitely, yes. At some point in time, right? At no. some point in time. Yeah. Miss <laughs> Jackson, this is Miss yes, Benske. How are you doing? I am good. I am good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm coming to you woman to woman. Yes. How, you how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Right now? Mm -hmm. I feel as though hmm. my mess, in my mess, there's a message. I feel as though in my disappointment, there's an appointment. I feel as though in my beating, there's also a blessing. And sometimes when you ask for a legacy, when you ask, because I ask God to serve, huh? and when a mistake is made, we all make mistakes in life. The, the good that we know is not always the good that we do. Um, and I tell people salvation is for the sinners. Did I at no time stand on a platform and say that I was right about my actions? My actions didn't come to an end with, um, with the public um, debacle. My actions came to an end in a private setting. Even before this resignation, my actions came to an end. However, it was made public uh, thereafter. But I already came to terms. I already went before my God. I already seek forgiveness. But nationally, I know I have a public responsibility. Nationally, I know I am a public figure, so I must give some, a certain level of accountability. I laid myself to the nation and said, yes, I was wrong. Yes, I did engage in it. I didn't dismiss it, or I didn't lie, or I didn't act as though it never happened. And I allow people to experience their own feelings because there will be people who will be for, there will be people who will be against. It's only natural because had you asked me probably a year before, um, would I condone something like this? I would blatantly tell you no. But with life, as imperfect people, we have experiences that we can grow from. And I think that this one is also a springboard of growth um, for something bigger, for something that I can stand for and say that I have the experience now, not so much just the knowledge, but the experience, yes? Mm -hmm. And also, too, um, there may be speculation that... Um, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. You're scorned, so you're bitter. Can you address that? I would not say that I am bitter. I will say that I am better. Because to, for me to seek forgiveness, I too must also forgive. You, I cannot go before God and ask God, Father God, forgive me of my sins. But yet still I'm holding resentment in my heart. Yet still I'm malicious in my intentions. It doesn't work like that. So I, there's a scripture that says that before we even go to the altar, 
rest down our gift and go and make peace and then bring our gift to the altar. So I have made peace with my past. I've made peace with what has, what had happened because it wasn't all bad. I didn't go on any platform and, and continue slander or continue ill speaking like if it, it, as though it was all bad. You know, sometimes when things happen, automatically people get bitter and everything is a negative conversation. That is not my personality and it is never who I am. But 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 Miss Jackson, again, yeah. right, I want to ask the question because I saw another video with you mm -hmm. with the people on Duncan Street. Mm -hmm. And you were I sent you the woman to play the video and I respect your rights. But mm -hmm. you were talking about I'm paraphrasing, you were talking about I told you what Mr. Watson Duke was gonna do to you guys. Mm -hmm. Right? If you are there from a humanitarian perspective, right, you are there to help the people. The, what the, well, to, to help the people, we must first educate the people. We have to understand that sometimes when we come in to help, it's like if you are ignorant of a situation, you first need to get information before you act. Because you may have the best of intention, but because of ignorance, you may make the wrong decision. So what should have happened before uh, Mr. Duke would have probably start a riot or start to march or whatever mileage that he was looking for? I don't know the intention of his heart. Get the information. Go into HGC first before he carry the people to march in there and storm in there. Find out because communication is always um, three way. There's your way, there's my way, and there's also the truth. Find out what has happened, where the communication has dropped. And if, if AGC was really at fault, and sometimes in these communities, there are people with probably lesser education that may sometimes need the information to be transmitted in another way. Because what I saw happening in there was not that the people probably even needed somewhere to live in. You know? Some of them just needed transportation. Some of them didn't have money to move from point A to B. Minor plumbing issues. Um, it was very minor. Some of the issues were very minor. Some of them would have had notice almost a year now, knowing that there, there's a gentrification program that's about to take place. They already assigned homes. So information is very important before we act. It's like, I'm going to pick up your fight. Before I pick up your fight, I must be informed as, as to what I am fighting for. Yes? Mm -hmm. So are you saying um, what Snook aired in going in there and he didn't have enough information, and when he went in there, it didn't cause it caused more harm than good. I'm saying that definitely. I'm saying that. Okay. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. All right. But 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 Miss Jackson, here is a point that most people, not most people, many people in Trinidad are saying, right? And I have it yeah. up on the screen. Sure. It says he says she said Rowley on the videos and text to her, mm -hmm. show the population what proof the. I don't need, listen, the, the person I'm sending the message to, the recipient of the message wasn't the public. Eh? I just use my public platform. The recipient received the message well, right? And if people are too involved in chaos and bacchanal and scandal, I tell you before you all go on social media to do that, walk outside in Trinidad and find somebody to help. Please use your social media platform to see how you can bring about some level of changes in this country. There are so much issues. The recipient of my message, I am very sure that he received it. It wasn't for John and Jane Public. So, so, oh. so let's just clarify something, right, Ms. Jackson? Yes. You received a text via WhatsApp from the Prime Minister. Yes, I did. Right. And you responded to that text. Yes, I also did. Okay, okay. Was that text in the form of a with a video or was just words? That I would not go to say because I I think that you're going down a road that is not necessary at this time. Because Nobody I think the prime saying. minister just now, sir. I'm okay. not. This is not a Jerry Springer show, please. I uh, keep your integrity <laughs> where it should be. Um, I don't think at this particular time you should address as to what is the direction of it. But I think that the message would have resonated. Um, the prime minister is also a man. People err, uh, and sometimes they may use hype. Sometimes for political hype, we may go down the wrong road. We may go down a road of, of laugh and, 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 and scandal and more bacchanal. And then between the both parties, remember they are rivaling. Keith is rivaling with, with, um, with, with Duke. Duke is rivaling with Keith. But the war is not against the, the, um, the persons. The real war should be how we can fight to save Trinidad and Tobago how we can fight against crime and criminality, how we can fight against so many of these black boys killing black boys, 
how we can fight against so many fatherless homes, how we can fight against this vicious cycle of poverty that is plaguing us. We have to be cognizant and we have to have that desire to focus on the real fight. I am asking these men who are leading us, focus on the fight, focus on the people. Because clearly it's as though, you, you know something, eh? I, I, I can sit comfortably in my home. I can say, well, I, I am comfortable. My family is comfortable and I can turn a blind eye. But then if I, if I do that, then who? Who really fights for the common man? I have been fighting not only in politics, you know, if you really follow me and understand my history, I have been fighting for the common man years now. This is not my humanitarian and philanthropical work did not start with politics and it will not end with politics. I will continue to fight for the rights of the poor until I recognize that in Trinidad, that lower, that lower class, that lower strata, who is voiceless, who has been muzzled, who are not represented, until they get a certain level of representation, I have dedicated my life to fight for them. Why fight for them? Because at one time I belong to them. I am a product of the poor. I am one of those who make it through. Yes, you see the swimming pool, you see the fancy vehicle, you see the bright lights, but it was not always like that. So I am true to me and I am true to my foundation and I'm true to my call. I wish people can really focus, go back into my history, scroll down a little lower into my videos, understand who I am and what I represent. Yes? Now, mm -hmm. what happens is that you are remembered by what is most recent. Mm -hmm. And, okay, I, I needed to introduce myself. This is Tommy. Marshall. Yes, good to meet you. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you are remembered by what is most recent. Mm -hmm. You stand for so many good things. Mm -hmm. But what has happened recently scarred you. You agree? No, that is also a good thing. Out of the scar, remember that scar is like you have a scar, you have a cut, and that cut will constantly remind you that something took place there. But it's a good thing. Why it is a good thing? Because you will see in, in the very in the very near days, I wouldn't say um too much just yet, you'll understand that I'll be championing many things that come out of this. And if this did not happen to me, I may not have been in a in a position, I may not have even um, steer, steer to that direction. So yep. it, it may look like something negative, but something positive will come out of it. Somebody asked a question, why every time she's doing a video, she's by her pool. I am in the mountains and reception, I do not get every, every part of my property. The best reception I get is right there. And sometimes yep. in this area here, and I'm actually next to the pool again. So well, I know. have a reception problem. It is not it's not a display issue, not that I want to show you anything. I don't need to show you anything. Yes? Yeah. So that I, person with that question, please. I, I hope that I answer your question. No, yeah. but what I was what I was also trying to get to mm -hmm. is the, the, with all the goodness that you want to do and you, mm -hmm. uh, that you plan on doing, mm -hmm. based on what we saw, mm -hmm. it affected a family. Mm -hmm. affected, there were children involved mm -hmm. with the other party mm -hmm. that are going to have to live with this. Mm -hmm. we, what, what I'm saying, what I'm also saying mm -hmm. is that just what you're fighting against, this could be, could be what you're creating because mm -hmm. if, if the spouse of the other person decided to take action, then we would, we, we could have a fatherless or fatherless children. You well, my, my, my friend, let, let, let me, let me just um, stick a pin right there. Mr. Duke would have said on his platform, and you could probably go back and replay those videos, that he is accustomed with polygamy, that his wife is well accustomed with him being a polygamous husband. So this is nothing new to Mr. Duke, all right? In terms of, and I would have also went out on my public platform, and I still made an apology to both his wife and his children, as well as my children, yes? I coming from a Christian background, a very rigid Christian background, because prior um, in my history, I was a Jehovah Witness. I was a missionary that would go to countries and preach and teach. I supposed to have a high, um, a high moral standard. Yes. So to engage in this low 
form of moral debauchery. It is, I mean, it's something that that even persons near to me will say that they couldn't even believe that I would have done something like that. However, it happened. The hell was with that. I'm human. I'm woman. I err, uh, right? I, I am I, Jesus Christ. I, I agree. And Except salvation, as I say, salvation is for the sinner. When Jesus Christ came and he told the prostitute, you will be with me in heaven. You would have, you would have take her there. When Jesus came and he spoke to Peter, who else was Peter? Who could have used a sword and chopped like Peter? Peter was a common criminal. Who was Paul? Who was David the adulterer? Look at the kind of sources that he would have had. So again, in our era, because my era was just a public era, but if persons were to go to look in your own personal life and see where you have fallen, where you have gone wrong, maybe it's not a public um, spectacle that everybody is aware of it. But in your own personal life, you're not perfect. You would make okay. decisions that may go totally against probably your whole moral grain in itself. But that is what makes us human. We have to own it. We have to first accept where we went wrong and make every effort, despite the fact that people try to stone you down, despite the fact that they want to see you down, despite the fact that they may put their, their foot on your neck. And even if you feel that you cannot breathe, listen, get up. Take their stones and build a pyramid. Take their beating and I say make a blessing because there is always something good. And if you want to look at the at the um at the at the, at the stuff in my eyes, right? Remember the Bible talk about the rafter that is in yours. So again, we must focus individually on our own personal wrongs and where we have heard and really strengthen ourselves not to be as judgmental as sometimes we may perpetrate because sometimes we are just hypocrites. You know, it, 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 for me, right, it's, it's interesting that um, when all this happened, mm -hmm. we could easily ask for forgiveness, mm -hmm. right? We can do, we, many of us are, I'm not, I'm not as adverse at the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, yes, we all make mistakes mm -hmm. and, you know, you apologize for your mistake and you mm -hmm. own up to your mistake. Mm -hmm. But did you think about that before you did it though? If I thought about it, I would yeah. ask you, you go into your own life, right? And think about every mistake that you make. And you ask yourself, did you think about it before you did it? No, no, so no, no, but, but Ms. Jackson, I'm oh, asking please, you. A, please, please, listen please, to me. me. Well, I'm asking you I a am not, question. I have to turn it on me. I am no, asking no, no. you a question. Before you ask me that question, I want yeah, you to go into your own yeah, life because you are human just like no, I am. I, yes, go I said your, we all make mistakes. Go into your own life and ask yourself, Every wrong thing you do, because when you finish this program, you'll hear my words echoing. Huh? Lie down on your bed and ask yourself every wrong thing that you did in your life. Did you think about it before you did it? There are things, there are things that you think about because mm -hmm. there are consequences for all our actions. Very there good. Are, there are good consequences and there are bad And there are bad consequences. I live with all and, of them. And many of us decide that, you know what? I will still take a chance in spite of knowing what the outcome is going to be. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, it's called a utilitarian approach. Yeah. Right? There are mm -hmm. good there are good consequences and there are bad consequences. So I was just asking mm -hmm. you a simple question. I wasn't mm -hmm. asking you to try to be in that, not saying that you're asking me the same question that I'm asking you. I'm asking Because I, I don't even understand that question. I don't even understand why you would ask me that question. Did I think about what I did before I did it? Why would you ask me such a question? Because it's, I think it's a good question. It's a relevant question. Well, I think it's irrelevant. So let's move okay. on. All right. Um, yeah. Anne, everybody gone? Are we still there? No, I think she's still there. I'm here. Mm. But the thing is dark. I'm not saying. Miss Jackson, Miss Benskin again. You're not yes. coming to you woman to woman, huh? Yeah. Because the, you know, men just don't understand us. They from Venus and we from Pluto. Or is it no, from we, Mars? Don't worry. We help them <laughs> to understand. We have to love our men. We help them to understand. We have different modes of communication, but we help them to understand. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Jackson, I, I'm not getting personal. I'm just yeah. woman to woman. I'm in, putting myself in your shoes. Yes. Were, did you develop feelings for Mr. Mr. Juke? Of course I did. I'm not a prostitute. I, I, I fell in love with this man. I wouldn't open my leg for somebody that I was not in love with. I fell in love with his character. I fell in love with his charm. I fell in love with what I think that he stood for. Yes, and I think that he has admirable, some of the qualities are admirable qualities. So yes, I would tell you that. Mm -hmm. 
And, and, and at that time, um, were you concerned that you might be hurting Mrs. Juke? Or you were just, you know, like, oh, I'm riding on a cloud nine and high on I, these no, I, I don't, I don't think I read the clouds. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I read the clouds, but it's what you call cognitive dissonance. So every time, you know, you do something and then you're, you're always saying you wouldn't do it, but you're still doing it. So mm -hmm. it was a situation like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some people may think that you, you know, not me, I'm just addressing things in the chat yeah. and that. Yeah. And sometimes you may come up a little hostile. Are you at all hostile anyway? I'm, just... I'm hostile at times. It's all part of my personality. It depends on what you bring to me. You bring peace okay. to me, I, I'm very peaceable. You bring war to me, I'm also a fighter. So it, it depends on how you come to me. And I'm a very candid person. Eh? Don't mind me um, say things in a harsh way, but there's no mm -hmm. harm or hurt intended. I, mm -hmm. I'm just very candid. And some people don't like that type of personality. Some people love people who will sugarcoat it. But if, mm -hmm. it, if, it's, if it's salt, I would say salt. I'll never tell you it's sugar. But it doesn't mean to say that I have any resentment after. It's just a personality type. Yeah. And you have publicly stated that you have children. You have a daughter. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. How, how did she, did this um, debacle reach her ears yet? And how did you address it with her? I, not her. I have children. I also adopt some children as well. Um, okay. So it's not one, two, or three. I okay. would have addressed this before. This this did not come to them by surprise. So as I tell you, I am very much open. I use my own errors to teach. So within our family meeting, I told them, the, a question came to me and I was very candid about it. And I told them that, yes, I did have relations. And I'm glad that I did. Because now when all of this happened, they say, well, mommy, you know, you told us about this before. You told us about the temptations of the flesh. You told us. So we had conversations. So it was not to say that, they were hit by something and oh my god mommy you are such a hypocrite no it was not that um i think that the hardest part for them was um dealing with the nudity um especially for my son my son is 17 years of age and knowing that some of his friends may have um these videos knowing that it is being circulated um with no control in, in various circles that that i think was the hardest um and is the hardest um, damage control that we have to have continuous conversations because they are people too um, they have their own opinions and I encourage them to to speak out and we, we address things as it come yeah and one more question at this time from me um, in this in this era of social media are you worried or concerned that a digital footprint will always be there of you know the debacle that um, occurred I am no longer worried or concerned I use it as I okay. told you, I, my body has become a living sacrifice. It is okay. I embrace it. I embrace everything. I was speaking and doing an interview and the guy couldn't watch me. I said, I know, it I know the images that you would have seen, but you could go ahead and look me in the eye. We can speak. I embrace all of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So someone in the chat says, I just can't understand how all your nice women just give all yourself to bad guys. Now it's only back and all after the storm. Yeah, well, they ain't wrong about that comment at all. I trying to understand too. I mean, write a book and send it out. <laughs> okay. Yes. So another another person asks in the in, in the in the chat, are you saying that there's a court matter going on about the video? Yes, there, there is a litigation issue. Yes, there is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Another person asks question, Miss Jackson, what do you think of politics of Trinidad and your opinion of PNM and UNC? Oh, I think that the PNM and UNC, they are like um, hmm, two sides of the same coin. Yeah. I think that the both parties, especially during COVID, uh, during COVID, I think I was most sad at that time to see that we were in an international crisis. Um, it was an international pandemic and the two political heads could not come together, not even in a crisis. It was, re it was very sad to see. Um, it was very sad to watch because it's like two persons that are just so power hungry. They are just holding on to power by any means necessary. They continue to use race, ethnicity, classism to separate people while they're on the top um like they're not they are not really grounded to understand what is taking place on the ground 
um, there's a lot of polytricking that is taking place. And it saddens me. Why? Because eventually one day we will die. And those to whom responsibility is given, I think that more could have been done both by the present government and the past government to improve the quality and the standard of life for that lower 20%. I will give them both blame equally. Yes. Here is another question from someone sure. in the chat. Question to Ms. Jackson. What can you do to improve the lives of youths? Lovely. I love this question. What can I do now? Or what can I do if I am in government? Maybe if I am in government. I would say, first of all, we need to create job opportunities. We need to pay attention to the level of literacy and probably change the education system. Because the education system right now, we need to remodel it so that it can reach. We have a first pass the post approach to education that we just look for the brightest, the cream of the crop, and we focus on them for SEA, for CXC, for A level, and then for degrees. But there are persons who are very talented, may not be academically talented, but may be talented in culture. We need to foster avenues for the youth to have an opportunity to really be able to shine. That a child who may not be academically inclined may be given the encouragement or even separated based on ability to have teachers, probably smaller classrooms, more individual attention, and psychologically to gear them in such a way that there is a level of egalitarianism. Because some of these children are going to school um, with so much of weight, weight that probably they don't know if they may be, they may be able to go to school tomorrow. They may not have all the, the school books in their bag. They may not have electricity at home. They may not have food to even eat or probably sustain them for another day. So we want a level of equilibrium. We are calling for equalness among the youth. And to target the youth is also to target their family. I think that much more can be done. Give the young people a voice as well. Give them a platform of opportunity because we, we are seeing now where society is actually being run by youth culture where mass media and the different mediums of social media is a different voice. But if we allow them the opportunity to be heard and we really begin to listen and address some of their issues, we can have a better Trinidad and Tobago. We can. And and and, and you think, Ms. Jackson, on a going forward basis, yeah, sure. which is the party you think can do those things you just talked about? None of them. None Including of them. the PDP? Well, I would say that <laughs> the PDP, in terms of its ideology, it is geared towards the, the poor man in terms of its ideology. But the leader of the party, I think that the party is still very young. The party is still very much in, in its embryonic stages. Remember that the PDP is a young party in a seasoned political landscape. Now, I think that if the political leader would use this to grow from it, grow from it that his personality can move away from being a tyrant into being a leader and let me differentiate uh, if he can move away from intimidation to inspiration then he would show growth that he wouldn't become the rubble rouser that he wouldn't become the one who has no respect for women um if he would use this opportunity every negative could be positive because if he really used the opportunity the negative that came with it and see how can I be a better person? How can I be a better leader? How can I now use my error and really stand on a platform for something better to show men, to show husbands, to show um, other young persons that are looking on? Yes, I may have made a mistake. I own my mistake and I want to do better, not only by my family, but by also by a nation. So I, I don't use any absolutism to say that the PDP can never because it's very young, there are possibilities that it can, there are possibilities that he too can change from this experience. So I would wish it, I would wish them all the best and really hope that maybe they can become the change that we are asking for. Yeah. No, with, 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 with all of that that you just said, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, something kind of catch me. You says um, mm -hmm. the political leader has no respect for women. I wouldn't say no respect, but look. Let's use the word look because oh, okay. no is absolutism as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's I would say the that he can improve. Maybe it is time for him because if something is happening all the time, all the time, all the time, 
then there's a saying that a million Frenchmen cannot be wrong. So if there's a constant um, repetition of the same thing that is happening, um, because there are many instances with, with him being disrespectful to women that many persons may have seen it. So maybe this one is the wake up call. Maybe this is time for him to really grab himself together and say, where am I falling short? How can I do better? And make a good effort to, to do better. Yes? Miss Jackson. Yes, my dear. <laughs> and given, given all that has occurred with the PDP over the last year, Mm -hmm. Do you still believe that the PDP is a viable option? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> that's a good question. Okay, well, well don't answer if you don't want yeah, to. That's a good question. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jackson. What are, wait, 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 one minute. What does that mean? Wait, wait, okay. One minute, Dana. You, you, mm -hmm. you, you don't want to answer that question, right? Let me tell you how I can see it being a viable option. Okay. If Mr. Watson Duke, first of all, if he came out and he apologized to his wife, if he were to say that I will try to be a monogamous husband, I will try to put us put aside um, the behavior that probably led into trouble time and time again. If he were to say I apologize to Ms. Jackson for releasing her news and releasing those videos and my behavior, it was not right as a man. If Mr. Duke were to say on a public platform that even um, the choice of words that he used and really own up to some of his lies that he would have stated and make an apology, a sincere one, not, not apologizing um, for political mileage, but a sincere apology, then yes, I would say that we all err. I would say that we all make mistakes. But when we own our mistake, the first, the first step is acceptance. Now, if he were to accept his errors and really make an effort to do better, yes. Mm -hmm. So all, all, all I kind of heard there, Ms. Jackson, you could correct me if I'm wrong, sure. is that if he doesn't do these things, then he's not really a viable political leader for the PDP. Certainly not. Because the PDP, um, the PDP supporters also would encompass many women. Yes, and 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 that that low respect for women, you think it's a major downfall? Of it the is a major downfall of the political leader of the PDP. It is, it is, but it can be corrected. You, do, do you think you could help him with that? Hmm. In what capacity? Tell me. Well, because you know there are certain things he may not be seeing, or mm -hmm. uh, let me say not you, but yeah. do you think there are other people who can assist him with seeing some of his shortcomings? No. In that, in that political party, in that executive, Mr. Duke is almost as though the other voices are very silent. They are not very strong persons that will stand up and give their views um, openly. Um, because remember, there are many personalities that may not be as open and may not be as resolute as I am or he is. So they are yes men. There are a lot of yes men in that executive. There are a lot of yes men in the party that would not stand up and say, um, Watson, you're going wrong, and I believe that you need to correct your your um, your errors. So no, I would have been there to know long enough that that is not what he has. So I would have been the one, time and time again, I would not have agreed with some of the things that he was doing, and I'll put down my foot, I will stand for what I say. Not in a, pub, not in a public platform, of course, but privately within our meetings, I will say, this should not be done. Think about it another way. This is not the right way. And it, it may be he would have met it at, um, in the very beginning with some level of antagonism, but I stick to my point and I begin to show why. Why do I feel that you could do it better? Why do I feel that it is time for you to evolve? Evolve from trade unionism. You need a level of diplomacy now. It is time for you to evolve. And sometimes with evolution comes pain because stripping away from a caterpillar to a butterfly is still a painful process. Yes? So are you implying that there's no democracy in that party therefore there is democracy but as if, if people choose to use their voice they don't choose to use their voice most of them are very much intimidated because he is a strong he's a strong figurehead it's not that he is it's not that he is a dictator among them it is their personality most of them in the executive probably choose not to speak up miss jackson miss benskin yes, supposing you were courted by other parties, would you consider joining 
other party if the offer you know looks uh viable fruitful you know both i i was both parties reached out to me that very same week that it occurred both parties reached out to me which both parties and which are you are you willing to say i'm not willing to state but both major parties in trinidad would have reached out to me and what i can tell you i am not a political grasshopper my ideology yesterday would not change today that i can tell you i'm very resolute in what i believe and i'm very resolute as to what i say and what i stand for now i did not uh I, initially it was not my intention to to um to be in politics huh? initially i would have been a political writer as well um for one of our former prime ministers doing speech writing and in the background of it probably looking on as to where the shortcomings are but then i asked myself a question during covid because if not you then who yes if mm -hmm. not you then who maybe it's just time for me to stop complaining and and try to try to actually do it better you know better just do better yeah i like what you said yeah <laughs> so so miss jackson we have a um a local mm -hmm. election upcoming right and mr duke has put himself forward mm -hmm. to be the mayor i think there are 12 seats in yeah. the local election in the port of spain correct uh, right and he has to win a pdp has to win a majority of those seats mm -hmm. in order for them to make him the mayor of port of spain correct. didn't he kind of put the card before the horse and saying that he wants to be mayor before you actually go forward and try to put, make sure you have a person to represent you in each one of those 12 yes. districts. So what should, have, what should have happened there is that Mr. Duke was supposed to have his 12 councillors first and put these faces out in the public because there are 12 councillors that are needed. Up until the time that I would have left, there weren't 12 councillors. So he would have had to put forward the 12 councillors. Then from the 12 councillors, he would submit names of four older men and among the older men is only then they select, not elect a mayor. So very early when he said, vote for me as a mayor, I was like, you don't vote a mayor, you vote the councillors, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I would have reached out to the chairman and said that that is an error. That was initially. Um, in terms of the, the direction, the direction, what I would have advised him if I, if I was still there, I would, have, I would have tell Mr. Duke, Focus on the councillors. Focus on getting proper representation from these various areas that people can see the faces that are representing them rather than one face, which is the political figurehead. Let you be the face behind those individuals rather than um, your face vying as though you are vying to be elected. Yeah? But doesn't that tell you something that this person is, is, could be a very selfish person in that they are sort of putting the cart before the horse in that the 12 councillors are the people who are going to be needed in order for you to become mayor of Port of Spain. So exactly. isn't that tells you about a person's personality? Yeah, it's, it does speak volume. It does. Mm -hmm. You want to expand on that a little bit? When no, I think, I, I think you did a good job by yourself. <laughs> It does speak volumes. I would say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was not the right approach. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. So do you think, do you think in Tobago as well? Do you think, you know, because he's, he, he actually is in my father, my father um, constituency in Tobago. Mm -hmm. My father is from Roxburgh, Tobago. Yes. Right. Yeah. So do you think he's, he's, he's done as a politician in Tobago as well? Or, or that Tobago and Trinidad is totally different as we know it's different. Politics have a morality of its own. Huh? So I don't know if, if I would say that he's done because it's still very early in his political career. Um, if we were to look back at, at Dr. Keith Rowley, remember he was not even, he was, he was the, little bull, the little bull in the party that um, would stand up against even um, the then prime minister. Um, the then prime minister would have stand up and say, um, if you put he as a leader, then dog eat us all. Um, and then he would have been the same person that would have assaulted another member of parliament. And today he's prime minister. So again, strange things can happen. So I would not say that it, it cannot be or it can be. Boy, you just have to leave the, the, the democracy to the democratic will of the people at the end of the day. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, par I'm paraphrasing a question that a person's put up here, right? Yeah. He said, "Will you give Mr. Duke? I, 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 
uh, if you put it that way, but, but let me put it as he said it, all right? Mm -hmm. He said, will you give Mr. Duke a second chance if he asks? I guess a second chance within the party. Mm -hmm. If he comes and he asks you, we would like you to come back in the party, a second chance for you to be part, deputy political leader of the PDP again. Hmm. Um, boy, I have to put that question before God. I, my human self, can't answer you that question. I'll put that question before God. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good politician. Mm -hmm. what, what did you say? You're a good politician. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you say, but they say a good person. No, <laughs> no that, 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 that's a politician right there. Yeah, yeah. That's a politician. A political answer. Yeah, that's a political answer. That's why, you know, I, I just leave it alone. That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so the, uh, another question, uh, is it mm -hmm. Mr. Duke in court for releasing the video? If he's in court for it? Yeah. I can't answer those questions concerning that. Remember, I told you that earlier. Okay, okay. Well, no, yeah. it's just somebody put up on it. Yeah. Now, somebody else asked, Miss Jackson, will you support mm -hmm. Mr. Farley as he seemed to be a person with a good character? No, I would not support Mr. Farley um, because my political ideology did not change. Remember, at no time when I was DPL did I disrespect um, the leadership of the party. At no time did I disrespect the leadership of the party. Mr. Farley Augustine would have disrespected the leadership. There's also a, a hierarchy. I would have been sitting in many meetings between Mr. Farley, uh, Mr. Duke, and some members of the executive, some well-wishers and some advisors. So no, what I think happened there is that Mr. Farley had his own dream of becoming chief sec, which he became. He had his own dream that maybe within himself, he thought that he was a better leader. But there are ways that we do things. And I think it was... Uh, it was not the right way, especially for someone that basically groom you, guided you, invest in you, and then for you to come on a public platform and disrespect the hierarchy while you were the deputy political leader of the party. Yeah? So I'm still not in support of his actions. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard you talk about advisors, right? And many people ask this question. Does Mr. Watson Duke have any advisors? Watson Duke don't listen to nobody but himself. Wow. And maybe it's just time for him to start listening and probably, and, and probably just talk less. Yeah? But is not is not what made him get to where he is by his braggadocious and way to be 12 <laughs> years in the, in, in the PSA president and to go to big one, go from two to six to four. Yeah, but, but in order to grow, some of the things you must also learn to let go. Because everything is something for a time and a season. You know, like, okay, you, you may say that, but a, a, a tree comprised of a root, a tree comprised of branches, a tree comprised of leaves, a tree comprised of flowers. Eventually, the flowers will fall off. But the flowers was once a part of the tree. Eventually, the leaves may blow off, but the leaves are also part of the tree. Eventually, the branches may break, but the branches are also a part of the tree. So... There's a time when you must know when I need to grow. And to grow, you also must also learn to let go. So that tyrannical, that that rabble rouser, that as he called himself, um, what's the word that he, he used the other day? Um, that, uh, that level of aggression and something else he said. He is uh, notorious. That notorious leader. It is time for him to put it away. Um, put it away and become, become the man that can really lead Trinidad. Trinidad need healing. Trinidad need love. Trinidad need a unification. Trinidad need a cleansing. We must stop the, the talk about hate. Because hate is only getting us into more crime and criminality. From the head, we need to speak a language of love and unification. We need to speak a different language because... Hate will only breed more hate. Um, division will only breed more division and discord. But it is time for us to heal from the top so that it will filter down to the bottom. Let those that follow us really recognize that, wow, our leaders are really showing love. They are really healing. They are really showing a unification.
So <laughs> folks, she's frozen. And um, we can't say it's the PDP doing that, or we can't blame any specific person for doing that. But we have a... Uh, <laughs> okay. We are, are having good? a... Um, mm -hmm. There you go. You're back. Yes. We'll go there for a little bit. Sorry. Like mm -hmm. yeah, watch now, Miss Jackson. Maybe yes. I need to go by the pool. All right, by it, you know. <laughs> that was a little right. joke. Could laugh. That's the only place, listen. I am right. in the bush. I am in the mountains itself. And yeah. that is one of the drawbacks. I do not get Wi-Fi in certain areas of this mm. property. Yes. Mm. Okay. Miss Jackson, yeah. do you think Watson Duke could become Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago? Well, anything is possible in Trinidad, yes. Trinidad is not a real place. No, no, no. <laughs> Trinidad is a real place. <laughs> I will, Trinidad is a real place. I don't agree with that. Trinidad is a real place. You see? Anything can happen in this country. Anything can happen. All right. And anything yeah. is possible. Now, someone asked, Ms. Jackson, what's your opinion of Prime Minister Rowley? What is my opinion? I just think that he is... Um, I mean, PNM is not all bad. I would never say that they are not doing anything for this country. They never did on anything for this country. That would be all nasty and it would be um, laden in lies. What I think that ha happened to the prime minister, I think that he got caught up in the upper echelon. He got caught up in the money making and probably um, doing well for himself. And he has separated himself from the ground. Because when we, if we are not walking and if we are not, if we don't stay connected, then there's a disconnection that can happen between the people and the leader. And that disconnection is very clear that the, the leader of the country, he's totally disconnected with the grassroots people. And those are the ones who were diehard PNM. Those are the ones that would have voted PNM regardless of come what me. Those are the ones that feel as though they have been oppressed, feel as though they have been ostracized, feel as though they have been marginalized. Those are the ones. So there's a total level of disconnect that has taken place between Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley and the poor people of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. So, so Ms. Jackson, we want to just stay with us for a few more minutes. We got to sure. go for a quick station identification. And we thank you so much for joining us and being very candid with us. You're welcome. <laughs> and we're going to go for a quick station identification. Send the sure. video to that triplets and WZY 95.9 FM. Stick and stay. We'll be right back after this short message. We have with us former deputy political leader, Ms. Kezel Jackson, joining us tonight. Stick and stay. We'll be right back after this. Short You're message. listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. You are listening to WZYE 95.9 FM. The most influential name in Caribbean radio in the tri-state area. Broadcasting from East Orange, New Jersey. The most influential name in Caribbean radio. WZYE 95.9 FM. We're back with you. It's in the village with the Dad Triplets on WZYE 95.9 FM. We have with us joining us tonight here in the village, no other than Miss Kezel Jackson, former deputy political leader of the PDP in Trinidad and Tobago. I Please am go. right here with you all on 95.9. I'm enjoying this this what this this evening with you all, and I'm thankful to be in your company. Yes. Thank you. We appreciate it. But Miss Jackson, yes. I haven't heard anybody ask this question, right? Yes. What about your significant other during this whole thing? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, prior to this whole ordeal, we were separated. So that is what most persons um, did not know. So we were separated and um, we, we have a good relationship in terms of we are still in business together. Um, there are certain things that I still will do with him. Um, there's a friendship that has existed and will continue to exist. But I, 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 I was not in love with him. I openly, we had, we had family discussions and um, this occurred before everything happened. So it, it wasn't like this came after, no, it did not. But, 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 I, 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 I didn't think I, I think need to add one other question. Yeah. I need to add one other question. Mm -hmm. Was he still living in the house with you? At which point? At which point in time? Presently? Well, during all this thing that happened. No, 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 no. He's not. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, he, so, all right. He wasn't living in the house with you. Okay. Um, initially, remember, Mr. Duke would have made a statement indicating that he gave him seventy thousand dollars, right? Correct. Correct. Initially, when um I came into the PDP, I didn't come with empty hands, right? I came if he is King Solomon. I came like Queen, the Queen of Sheba, Makeba. I came bearing gifts. I brought with me finances. I would have also financed. I would have also pledged some of my personal money into that party. What would have happened is that Mr. Duke had a problem that he was living still in one of the rooms in this house. He asked me, so if you all are not together, why he just does not move out? I said, I told him that I'm still finishing his house because I was building a house for him um, so that at least when that is finished, he can move out into it. He asked him what he need again to complete and it, it was just a roof and he said, well, I gave him the money. He gave him the money to finish the roof so he can move out of the house. Um, it was that simple. Was it that I, I would not have done it? Yes, I would have done it, but not at that particular time. I didn't see the need for the urgency because I had no problem with him being in another room. Yeah? But 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 mm -hmm. why did he want him to move out of the house? Hmm. As a man, you could ask yourself that question. No, no. <laughs> yes, you uh, your your co-host tell me that <laughs> one is from Venus and one is from Mars, so maybe you can give me some clarification on that. Time for you to clarify to me. Huh? I, I, because you I, ain't going to give nobody $75,000 just so just to move out of a house. What is your reason? Tell me. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I mean, you, 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 I could say something, but it's totally yeah. different what you thought about these seven. Well, I can say something too. I might be totally different from what he is thinking. We are from different planets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, so what were you thinking? What were you thinking? What I was thinking? Yeah. You see, are you twisting around? I ask you first what you were thinking. What is the reason? You flip the question back on me. Where's my female? Where's the female co-host in this program here? She, she, she's right there. She's right there. I ask Diana. you to defend me now because if I had to understand. We don't fully understand men. So maybe you can tell me what he may have been thinking. You know, what Diana, was the level like... of urgency for him to move out? I, my house like... have 20 rooms. I have 20 rooms in this house. I like Miss Jackson. They, they build in far from each other. <laughs> When Ms. Jackson didn't want to answer the question, she just turned around the question. And yes, asked... very quick. <laughs> very, very, quick. Very, very, very quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. When she don't want to answer a question, and then people in the chat saying, answer, why you want to want to answer the question? Anytime I don't want to answer it, I send it back real quick. I wish you could answer for me. I know I can't answer for you. I don't want to answer for you. You know what I mean? Well, I, can't, I can't answer for him either. Maybe he alone can answer for himself. Oh, all right, all right. Maybe maybe you got a game and ask him, boy. You know what yes, I mean? Yes, just maybe. Just me, <laughs> just maybe. Oh, you sweet, yes. No, no, Miss Jackson. Yeah, I saw you with, a, you was petting a lion, and you was petting a snake. Are you an animal activist? I wouldn't call myself an animal activist, but I love animals. I that love snake was kind of scary, them. boy. That snake. No, they're not scary. The, the human snakes is who you have to be um scared about. Uh, but no, but are you a snake in your house? You are a snake in yes, your I house? Yes, I have a pet. I have a pet in aquarium. I have uh, two snakes, not one. And you have a pet lion too? No, no, no. That was in Dubai. Oh, that, that was, was on um th this guy, I forget his name, Humala Fifth. He has a, a resort down there where you can go and do petting. You can pet lions, tigers. Um, yeah. What what type of snake? What type of snake are those two snakes? I have a rainbow. Mm. And I have a a, a Makoba. Okay. Was yeah. was Watson Duke scared of them snakes? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, why are you so? Huh? <laughs> why are you so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to be able to lighten up the moment. <laughs> why are you so? <laughs> you ever you ever pet them? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> yeah, nah, I no, I see you as I see you in the video of the snakes. I say, boy, yeah. that look kind of scary, boy. You no, know, they they are they are not to be um don't be afraid of them. I said to be afraid of humans. Okay, okay. Them so, human snake you have to be wary of. How long you have had them? Have you had them from small and they grew big? No, actually, that those those two. Um, mm. I was traveling very often prior to all of this. Um, mm. I had a travel and destination show, so I was unable to take care of most of my animals because I have like macaws, I had monkeys, like a little zoo here, right? 
I had um, large turtles, a lot of animals I had before. But because I was traveling, I was in a different country every month for my show, I would have donated or gifted some of the animals to um, different places that have the um, little eco resorts that would, I know it would be in their care and control. And now that I am more stagnant and more static and fixed here, I said to them, I say, well, I need to get some of the animals. And they told me that they had, they get some, they get some other babies from some of them. And yeah, but if I'm, well, if I'm leaving to go anywhere, I would leave them in their care and control. So what, yeah. what made you keep the two snakes though? Um, when they brought them back, it was because of the size. So only recently they came back. Eh? It was because of the size. Um, sometimes in, in, for these little shows, you need something that's lighter that could go on to children that they can hold. And the heavier the snakes, sometimes it can be a little more intimidating for younger ones. Mm -hmm. So talk. this is the first time we have heard you talked about the traveling show that you had. Talk a little bit about that. What was that about? Okay, I have a travel. If you Google it, um, www.miraakizel.com. I had a travel and destination show that I was featuring a different country every month. Um, every country have a story to tell. So I was telling that story, showing the culture, um, some of the geography, the landscape, um, the things to do, entertainment um, in every country, some of the premier hotels as well. I would have went to um, Thailand, Venice, um, a, lot, a lot of countries. I think it was about 64 countries that I would have covered in that show. And then COVID came, and thankfully, I was I just came back. I came back for Carnival when um when COVID hit us, mm -hmm. and uh, after that, I submitted all my um my series to Amazon and Netflix. I would have received a award of recognition for American film market and European film market coming out of the Caribbean. That is, and it really allowed me to see things differently to open my imagination as to how I can improve my country and how as well things can be done differently. Um, it allowed me to see the world like, like I had a magic carpet. I will tell you that. It was totally enjoyable. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say Miss Jackson is more somebody. This is what somebody say in the chat. We like to bring yeah. our chat and somebody say Miss Jackson more smarter than Duke. So well, I, I can't measure the IQ and the level of intelligence, but yeah, I wouldn't say smarter than anybody because that is a, a, that's not a, the, a, the right thing to say. Yeah, I can't say something like that. More intelligent, intelligent. Yeah. You could say that, right? I can't say that. I can't say if I'm more intelligent than another person. I can't say that. Okay. I, okay. I don't have any empirical data to say that. There's no test by which I can say that. So, But people will make their own assumptions and their conclusions. It's all fine. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Jackson, did you play mass this past carnival? I never play mass, you know. I jump once in Jamaica. I felt I felt comfortable jumping because I thought nobody knew me there, right? Mm. So I jumped once in Jamaica, but I never played mass in Trinidad Carnival. Remember, I told you I came out of a Jehovah Witness background. So for me to jump even in mass is a spectacle. Eh? Yeah. Uh, so I never jump in Trinidad Carnival. Um, I never attended Trinidad Carnival. I was offered, I had free costumes, probably almost every year they would offer me a costume, but I never took up the opportunity to jump. Mm -hmm. But don't tell me, don't feel like I whine and jump, you know. I could uh -huh. listen. You see me on a truck, you see me on the road, I whine and low. You wouldn't even make up the same Jackson. Jackson. Ms. Jackson, I don't think you want to tell people about whining. <laughs> you sure? If I tell them about the whining, man, they don't probably have an idea already. Listen, a whining low for carnival. If I ever reach out there, a whining low for carnival. No, Jehovah Witness not supposed to be whining, you know. I am no longer Jehovah Witness, and I just tell you that. Oh, okay, my God. okay, okay, okay. What, 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 what are you now? What religion do you follow now? I don't follow any religion whatsoever. I have a relationship with my God. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't follow any relig religious groups. I stop talking about religion, and I speak more about relationships. Okay, so you, do you consider yourself a motivational speaker? Well, I have been a, a school guidance counselor. I have taught psychology and sociology at UWI for more than 11 years. Um, I have been going back to schools and speaking to students, trying to encourage and motivate. So yes, many years I have done that, you know. 
you see people now understanding and probably getting to know um getting to learn a little a little bit about me and then some people with just limited information they form their own conclusions as well yeah now somebody asked this question right i don't like yeah. to ask these questions you know, but i like to i like the people in the chat i like to ask the question yeah. says, miss yeah. jackson mm -hmm. would you consider the pnm as a black person party or are saying in the very underground it's now controlled by the one percent totally controlled by the one percent yeah but you see you see I, I don't like this question because you could ask the same question on the opposite side of the spectrum too as well do you mm -hmm. consider the unc an indian person party it's indo it, it is it is we have to be honest because it is um majority uh, indo party yeah. it is not all indo but it is majority and indo party because people in trinidad vote on the basis of race yeah so 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 that's what it is but the black people vote for PNM, but PNM is not controlled by the black people. The I, Indian I people that. vote for the UNC, and because we have to understand culture, we have to understand the back, the background of culture. We have to understand that some races are also clannish, and black people we were never clan. We were never people for ourselves by ourselves. Um, we were never that type of people. Black people sold black people into slavery. We were always fighting among ourselves. We were we were those that were working in master house as um as domestic slaves and carrying news on the field slave. Um, there was never a there was never a level of unification among black people. You, you may have gotten temporary unification when there was revolts um in different um islands for freedom based on a commonality. But did they really have a culture of sticking together? We don't have that culture. We have to go right back in Africa and understand who we are if we are to move forward. So most of these races operate in a clan or a clique. Black people, they don't. I mean, Ms. Jackson, I have to be honest with you. Eh? Yeah. Um, it appears to me that mm -hmm. you have taken this thing and you have made um, bread out of stone. I put it that way, in that, you know, many people would have, have find this thing to be very difficult mm -hmm. in order to come back out and be in the public space mm -hmm. regarding the things that have happened to you. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have taken it, you know, you have embraced it, you have apologized for it. And mm -hmm. I, I, I respect you for that too, in that, mm -hmm. you know, we all have shortcomings. Yeah. You know, none, none of us are perfect. None yeah. of us. Right? Mm -hmm. And you apologize, you know, for your shortcomings that you did. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have kind of kept it moving, you know. Now, the, the thing I, 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 I kind of ask in, in, in going forward, mm -hmm. because it seemed like if one way or the other, you're going you're gonna to be in politics. Mm -hmm. is, is that accurate? That's accurate. Mm -hmm. Right? So you're going to be in politics. So at some point in time, you got to pick a side. Correct? May not be pick a side. I mean, just form my own side. Okay. <laughs> Or you could form your own side. Yes. Yeah. You know, with that in mind, do you mm -hmm. think that the independents in Tobago are going to form their own side? More than likely, yes, they would. Yes. More than likely. Yeah. Politically, yeah. Maybe if, if you listen to all the political pundits right now, um, mm -hmm. they are already vying for that. Yeah. And where does that leave Mr. Duke? Um, it, Mr. Duke and the Progressive Democratic Patriots, it leave them, they have to go back to the drawing board and find probably more representation um in tobago mm. who would probably choose to stand with the pdp yeah well it it, it will be interesting mm -hmm. rose the night it will be interesting to see mm -hmm. i believe it is my belief that mm -hmm. the local election come upcoming local election is going to be a referendum on the pdp yes do you, you agree with that I totally agree with that. What? Yes. Ms. Jackson, you're agreeing with me? Yes, I agree with I tell you, if you're making sense, I agree with you. I, I will stand up with you, you know. Oh, so the sense sensing. Ms. Sense sensing. Yes, yes the sense sensing. All right, Ms. Sense sensing. Yes. You know, I believe, I believe that, mm -hmm. you know, the local election, and th this is a little black boy from Chumaka, Clavantilla. Yes. You, know, you, know yes. you know what Chumaka is? Of course, I have videos in Chumaka. You went up in Chumaka too? Of course, I went up in Chumaka. Okay, I, I went up on the hill up in Trumacac. I was up there, yes. I had to go and look for them video, boy, because I kind of... Go and look for it. Go and look for it. Up yeah, in yeah, I had to look because, yeah. you know, people are afraid to go up in Trumacac, you know. No, no. 
there's no area that I probably didn't embrace through my cock, um, never dirty, mon repo, um, all aspects of love until we walk with the people, you know, literally walk with the people. Yeah. Some of them walk from day into night. But you know, Miss Jackson, there's been a question, right? In that yeah. it seemed that the PDP are only in the PNM stronghold. Why is that? Hmm. Um, you all are seeing a PNM focus, basically. You know, the PDP, we were all over. But Mr. Duke's attention is for Port of Spain. So maybe that is why you all are seeing more of um, the Port of Spain is, is, is a predominantly PNM. But no, we have been all over. We have been in Shogunas, we have been in Penal. We have been in Cuba. We have been all over. Yeah. No, I saw I saw a video with um the unofficial mayor of Port of Spain, Twiggy. <laughs> Twiggy, mm -hmm. you, you know, <laughs> you know yes. Twiggy, right? Yes. Yeah. Twiggy, Twiggy was actually saying that mm -hmm. she she was running Watson Duke from her community because mm -hmm. he only come in there to, to to brainwash people and to mama guy people. Mm -hmm. What do you say about that? Huh. Uh, you see, democracy, democracy is something that we need to respect in Trinidad and Tobago, that we, we will not all have the same opinion, but we must be able to respect our political differences. And not because I am A means that we all will be A, and not because I am B means that we all will be B. But we need to have a greater level of respect politically for differences, differences of opinion, differences of party, and differences of choice. But collectively, the majority will speak, and that is common election day. They would speak. Allow the, allow the people democratic will to be exercised. Twiggy is one person, and she may speak for um, herself. I am not sure if she's the voice of um, her area, but... In everything, I, I choose to evaluate and I choose to sift. I am a very good listener. I listen to people and I sometimes listen to hear, to, to, to hear what they are not also saying. And there's a, still a level of comfort. And she wants a reassurance because remember the PNM may still throw a little bit of corn. And if a little bit of corn is being thrown, well, then some fowl will still come and eat. And you can't say that you will turn away the little bit of corn um, for no corn. <laughs> so let us continue to eat a little bit of corn yeah so it's, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of um culture we must un understand as well the psycho um social dynamics that comes into play as it relates to politics in these um in these marginalized areas miss mm -hmm. jackson that was a very good uh, that was a very splendiferous Fantabulous, <laughs> marvelous, two men, different, splendid. I, I begin to like you a lot, eh? Because <laughs> of... <laughs> oh. Spectacular <laughs> political answer. I like yeah. that one. No, right. I see you. Yes. You know? Yes. You, you, you've been at this a, a, a while, right? At what? At, at, at this political um thing. Well, I have been writing political speeches probably about what year are we in, boy? Oh gosh, I don't love my age. Twenty-three. Just... Twenty-three. Huh? We're in 23. twenty-three. From two thousand and eight, I started as a political writer. You see, I know, I know, I could tell you. Yeah. I could tell you. You, 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 you know, in politics, yeah. right? You don't have to answer the question the person asks you. You know. Yeah, quite true. You could answer your own. You could you could come up with your own answer. You don't have to answer yeah. the question. You could make it very succinct mm -hmm. and you know yeah. make it have about five, six, eight sentences, and then you know. And uh, I was also the political advisor to two prime ministers and one opposition in Caricom. Uh. But I think that we, if we really move away from the partisan politics in Trinidad, we mm. will do much better. Mm. Time to move away from it. It's not working for us. Mm. So you so. Uh, right, Tommy. You spoke mm -hmm. about CARICOM. Do you believe that CARICOM or Caribbean Unity is going to benefit the region much more than... Of course it will. Of course it will. I, I will say like Martin Luther King, I have a dream. I have so, a yeah. dream that one day the Caribbean will be one Caribbean. I have a dream that one day we will have one currency. I have I'm beginning, a to, I'm beginning to like you very, very, very much. 
I'm beginning to like you very much. I yeah, we kind of, we kind of, yeah. we kind of, yeah, we kind of. When, when Miss Jackson first started, you know, I mean, she, 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 she real comfortable now, but you see what she put on that smile. Yeah. Smile, yeah, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> I have a, you, you, you're a charmer. Yeah, yeah, when she put on that smile. But, but I wouldn't say a charmer, but you, you just, you just allowing my personality, and you see the more, you see what happens sometimes when we begin to speak with people, we may have. Naturally, as humans, eh, we have our little um, antennas. Concepts. We have antennas. Yes, as to who we think they are, mm -hmm. as opposed to who they really are. But the more we begin to speak and the more we begin to share, we, we begin to understand that this person may not be who I think she was at all. It happens. True. True. And then sometimes the worst, the, the, the worst sometimes becomes the best. You know, that way, sometimes somebody who you probably didn't like at all from the beginning. You and a person become so good when you really get to know the individual. So I, I didn't really pass a judgment on you. I, I wanted to hear from you. Beautiful. But, um, beautiful. But I'm, but I'm really um, impressed with your your belief for the Caribbean. Yeah. Because I, I also we share are, listen, belief. Uh, I know you all are outside, and right now you all are probably missing the Caribbean. Because we are such a gem. We are rich. We are untouched. We are like a virgin with beauty. When you look at our landscape and look at our Eden green mountains and then look at our pristine blue waters, what can parallel to Caribbean and then our culture? We are a happy people, you know. Amidst all the bacchanal, we still laughing. We are happy people by culture. But we need to understand that our authenticity is one that we must sell to the world. Never should we want to become Americanized because there's a lot of cultural hegemony that is taking place in the Caribbean. We need to hold on to our authentic self, but our leaders cannot be selfish. We must be inclusive of each other. When we can become our brother's keeper and a sister to each other, then really and truly, this little Caribbean could become a major block in the Panama Canal. Are you that we deep? have so much to offer. Are you really That's that deep? Pardon me? Are you really that deep? Believe me, I am deeper. Yeah? Oh, me, Jackson, that's why Trinidad is a real place. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Trinidad is a real place, but we will make it real. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> see, you just you just explained mm -hmm. why Trinidad and Tobago is a real place. All right. All you right. See? We'll make it but, real. But, but Mr. Jack Miss, Miss Jackson, mm -hmm. inquiring minds want to know. Yeah. When is the last time you have had a discussion with Mr. Watson Duke? Um, I used to forget that boy because um, it, it was a while ago, a long time. Yeah, three months ago. I can't remember the day we last saw and spoke to each other. That was before my resignation. We would have sat down um, sometime before my resignation. Yeah. When was that in in January? Huh. Um, what month are we in? We are in March, probably around that time. Oh, okay. I'm not sure as exactly what date, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> ask right. me, tell me, go ahead. You no, go no, ahead. no, 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 some, 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 somebody in the chat, you know. Um, there does our chat people does if there's one thing, Miss Jackson, I have to tell yeah. you, right? Mm -hmm. Our program, mm -hmm. we are three Trinbagonians mm -hmm. in the diaspora, yes. Right, and we bring this program called In the Village with the Dad Triplets, and we talk. So I want to it. tell all of them. I want to tell all the Trinidadians and other persons from Caricom, who we need us, and Vince, whoever listening to this program, hmm. listen. I'm giving you some Trini love. We love you. We love you dearly, and we will try to do better. And we have to fight also for you all on the outside as well, and create opportunities for you all on the outside that you all will want to come home. Hmm. Yeah. But ask me all the questions. Your platform yeah, is yeah, open, no problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, here's the question somebody yeah. says. Miss Jackson, you're mm -hmm. puzzling me. You're too wise to let Duke play you so. Well, I, I don't think I was played, you know. Mm. Maybe uh, you all have to understand. Maybe the, the, the puppet may have been the puppet master. <laughs> oh, oh, everything is just perception. I tell you, salt and sugar looks the same. <laughs> it's just perception. But I was not played. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know. What took place there is just um, 
I would say immature behavior that after I don't think he I don't think he really in his mind he really probably did not think that I would leave both him and the party. And when I made that decision and I came back from St. Lucia and I said yes, I I really made that decision that it may not be the best political move or even personal move for me. Um I know you was hurt by it, but I didn't expect that level of retaliation to destroy me because he does see me as a formidable enemy. So he did tell me that he will try his best to, to, to state my character. He did make threats from before, but I thought I was all anger speaking because I just say a real thing when I vex you. Don't, don't, don't feel that I am no Mary. When I vex, listen, the kind of colorful words and things I would say, you would run. So I just, I just allow him to say what he had to say because I thought that he was just saying things. But I felt he probably felt a level of betrayal as well, that I actually left the party. I actually resigned, um, that probably I should have um, keep on accepting the things that he was doing, which to me was unacceptable. Um, the reason that I really resigned was when he began to cross the line between my business and my person. It had nothing to do with Watson and I in a personal capacity why I left the party. Um, it was a lot of business. When he began to call my business colleagues to ask if I'm sleeping with this one, if I'm sleeping with that one. And these are people that he does not know personally. And he began to denigrate my name in that capacity. I recognize that things are really getting worse. And I need to make a stand because it will not get better. In my eyes, I did not see it as getting better. I see it as a level of mistrust and disloyalty and immaturity as well. Because I am still a businesswoman. Huh? I'm still very much an entrepreneur. And I give him that respect. And I think that that respect, I, I demanded that respect in return. And when that wasn't given, and I see things going progressively in a negative way, I made a decision um, for myself as well as for my political career to salvage my name. I said I am going to pull out. Yeah. So, so yeah. somebody asked this question, right? But I'm going to yeah. paraphrase it somewhat. Sure. If you were to be approached to become the political leader of the PDP, what would you do? Hmm. They're asking some nice questions tonight. Anytime you make me think, you're asking some good questions. If I were to become the political leader of the PDP, what would I do? Well, in many well, no, aspects, no. If they, if they ask you to become political leader for what's new to step aside, for what's new to step aside in order for you to become political leader, would you take it? Would you become the political leader? Well, in many in many ways, I was the political leader of the PDP. Okay. Yeah, in many ways. Although I was, uh, you see, DPL, in many ways, I was the visionary behind the progressive democratic patriot. So I saw myself as the political leader in many aspects of that party. And the people in Trinidad, if you are on the ground, they would tell you that, um, you know, there's a role for a man, but there's also a role for a mother. A man may be the head of the home, but people people go towards the mother. They, 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 they gravitate towards the magnet of the mother. So yes, the man is the figurehead, but who does all the work is really the mother. Yes, you would agree with me? Hmm. So what does that mean? You will accept the, the, to become the political leader? I would, as, a, as far as I see it right now, um, for me to become that political leader, it's not, a, it's not a matter of me becoming the political leader. It's a matter of the, polit the present person evolving into something better, someone better. Because even if he step aside, he may become a deputy political leader and it may have the same issues. So I, um, I think that those are questions I need to put before God and only God can really direct my path. I need I need spiritual guidance as to what is my direction in politics. And if God really called me to serve the people, he will open up a way for me to serve them. If my heart is really founded in truth and in, in this desire to help people, genuine desire. I'm not talking about no, no fake desire and people coming out because of self-gain and because of their own personal interests. But if my heart is really there for the people, God is the only one who sees our heart and he will use us accordingly. And I ask him to use me at that vessel and allow me to serve. And whatever is that capacity, if servitude is beneath me, then leadership is beyond me. So let me take it even a little further. If sure. God tells you that, okay, Miss Jackson, 
-hmm. you should go and take this political leader position. Right? If God tell me there's no debating, right. I'm gonna have a next program with you, Miss Jackson, as political leader, maybe talking a different language. So if God <laughs> tells me, yes, I am going, I am going without even questioning. Yeah. But 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 what would God tell you about Watson Duke? Because you maybe you always tell people I'm the founder of this party. I found this party in Tobago by a lamppost with a dog. Yes, How with the dog and his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under yeah. street lights. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So um, it's a true story um, and one that we must always be mindful of because in no way, uh, listen to this, uh, you build a house and the house is yours. Um, we must give you that respect as the owner of a house. I wouldn't come as a tenant renting your house or even begging and lodging and having a room by you and acting as though I own this house. I don't know about the sacrifices that you would have made to cast that foundation. I don't know the sacrifices that you would have made to put up those windows. I don't know about the, the sacrifice when you're eating cricks or something bread and butter just to be able to put a roof on your head. So we must not covet. And we must not want things that do not belong to us, but give respect to people who would have worked hard to reach where they are. So yes, he's a political, um, he's the founder of that party. And that is something that cannot change. And until the members of the party, you know, I think that he, he always felt as though he had to defend it. Hence the reason why he kept saying it. If it was embraced by the other members of his organization, maybe he would not have had to say it so much times. Because sometimes people begin to say something over and over because they are trying to penetrate somebody because they feel as though they are being challenged or sometimes overlooked in that capacity. I think that he had something to prove to keep saying owner, founder, and political leader. But if it is not being challenged or questioned and it is being embraced, then he should feel safe as the owner. He should feel safe as the political leader and he should feel safe as the founder. But those to whom much is given, much is also expected. Um, <laughs> he just needs to really look in, look into himself and see that if God is calling you, then God probably sees something that we did not even see. God probably saw something deeper in you. But you need to also find that within yourself and become the person that God is asking you to be. All these things that are happening, who God loves, he also disciplines, you know. All these things coming out in the public light, maybe it's a form of love that God is exercising towards the Solomon Duke. We don't know. <laughs> I cannot say that it's probably not within God's love for him to publicly discipline him as well. For him to begin to see himself, maybe this could be um, the springboard of something better. Maybe this could be the turning point for him. I don't know. Yeah. But 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 Miss Jackson, to me, mm -hmm. it's a red flag yeah. when you have to constantly remind people mm -hmm. that you have started this party. I own this party because in the United States of America, for example, we are the Democrats, we are the Republicans. Yeah. Right. <laughs> If whoever started the Democratic Party way back then was mm -hmm. saying, coming home and telling people, well, you know, I started this party. I started this party in Roxbury. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? You had the vision to start yeah. the party. But we in 2023, you still have to remind me about the dog and the lamppost back in 2018. Yeah. And you had to constantly remind me. If you had to constantly mm -hmm. remind me, it tells me that there is something, there is something there that is of a major concern. Yep. Yep. I think I I share your opinion as well because I, I would have spoken to him about that um, because it could leave a negative taste in people's mouth and even the air as to hearing that repetitively. Um, so yes, but there, there's something that is lacking and maybe I don't know if it's in the party or in the personality or in the person, but I understand what you are saying and I do agree with it. Um, I will tell you something, eh? and this is something that I employ. You know, people that work with me don't work for me. So I don't have to remind them that I am the boss. Right. I don't. Correct. It's not my approach. Because if I am truly the boss, you know what it is to lead? To lead also means we must exercise humility. Yes. So I will work with them. Mm -hmm. I would also work for them. Because when you begin to do that, you lead with love. Rather than you lead with force or you lead with, you know, grudge, people following you grudgingly. Um, so it is time for him to adopt a new method of leadership. 
And I will always refer to him. I tell him, I said, Watson, look at how Jesus led. How did Jesus lead? Even when the disciples fought among themselves, who is greater? Who is greater? Jesus came and he washed their feet. And he showed an act of humility. Because while you were talking about greatness, the greatest among them bow before them and wash their feet. Isn't that greatness? But may I think I know position to talk about feet, eh? because I gave some good foot washing the other day. <laughs> now, here's a question. Yeah. How would you know is God that's sending you to take control? How would I know? Yeah. Um, a level of purification, and sometimes we sometimes talk to God, but we don't listen to when God speaks mm -hmm. to us. And it is me listening. I have to listen. And now, in, sometimes in the silence, I have to be able to listen and truly appreciate and follow. And this is the way I walk in it. Um, I have lost my direction. I will tell you that. I did lose my direction um, along the way. But in losing my direction, I found something greater. And I am cognizant of my responsibility, not only to myself, but also to my God, also to the angels. They're looking, they're looking at us too, you know. They're looking at us to see how much times we will fail, how much times we will err, how much times we will ask for forgiveness, how much times. And God has been so good to us. You know something? I wake up today, you know. Most people did not get up today. Most people suffering in a hospital bed with some kind of ailment. You know, much people probably even looking at your life right now and have so much as sickness within their body. We have health. We have life. We, are, we have every day to make something better in the day. We have the opportunity to live as though we were resurrected because when you sleep in, it's as though you are dead. But you wake up. Who wake us up? God wake us up to do better. So I would, I would use this opportunity for every day to do better. I, I want the angels to look down upon me and say, have you not seen your servant, Kizel? Yeah, she fall. Yeah, she sin. Yes, because at one time, I could have been very self-righteous. Eh? I will tell you that. There's a level, a level of humility that I would have had to accept with my fall because I could have probably never seen this coming. But if you tell me I would have done something like this, listen. I would have probably shut off your program. But again, there are lessons in it. And I appreciate that I have life. I appreciate that I have another day. And we all have another day. To all the listeners that is listening right now, you have another day. You have another moment. You have the now. You don't have tomorrow because tomorrow is promised to no one. But the now we can make a difference. And to all that is listening, I just really want to preach a language of love and forgiveness. And it is not about how hard you fall, but it is about the level of resilience that you have to get up and make corrections and keep going. And some people have to take big steps, you know, but every single small step is a step in the right direction. Just keep propelling, keep pushing, keep going forward because you don't know who is listening and what they are going through right now in their mind or in their own circumstances that your program could be one in which could really make that switch for them could really give them that motivation that you know that that push that drive to do more yeah so whoever is listening to this program this evening i just want to tell you you are blessed with the gift of the present what are you doing with it before you go to bed free your heart from hate, free your heart from maliciousness, free your heart. Somebody and will give you a problem, put them before God. In your family, you're getting fight down, put them before God. In your school, you're getting problems, put them before God. If you're fighting your own self with your, with your own personal battles, because we have monsters within our own self, even put that flesh before God so that you can strengthen that spirit. But God is awesome, and I am thankful. I, Kizel Jackson, I'm telling you all this evening, I am thankful. I'm thankful for the rain because the rain pours, the storm will come, but I am also thankful because tomorrow the sun will shine again. I am thankful for every experience, both the good and the bad. Yes? Hmm. Well, Miss Jackson, wow. I, think, I, right. think, I think the best thing to do is to leave it there, you know, because I don't yes. think... <laughs> I don't think I don't think we want to go back and ask any other question after that point in time. But mm -hmm. I want to say, you know, we thank you so much 
for taking the yeah. time here to come join us here in the village with you're the most welcome WZ i World also Europe. thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with your audience i also thank you because the more we begin to speak to persons is the more you you will you see it's like as opposed to what you hear what is being bombarded in the media and and really listening to a person you can begin to feel because real or no real eh? you, you you could pretend and you could mask but how long can you can you continue i am i'm very rough around the edges eh? don't, don't get me wrong i'm very rough i'm very straightforward i'm very to the point but i prefer to be this person i don't, I don't want to be the person that will sugarcoat things and tell you things that are not if i say something i stand in it because it is the truth um but it doesn't mean to say that i have any malicious intention or or it is rooted in anything negative. It is not. It's just a personality type. And I'm very thankful. And I hope the people in um in your jurisdiction help me too. I need help, you know. All they donate, all they donate food items. We don't need money here. We need food. The people and them Trinidad, there's a lot of requests for food stuff. If all you have family that I could go and pick up things by or a meeting point to get stuff to help to feed them poor people outside here, I need it. I need the help to continue to sustain the work. We're not asking you all for no money. If you have food stuff, send it. If you have a thing, you may think it's old clothes and all they want to, don't throw it away. Somebody glad for it. Pack it in a bag and, and, and tell me I will send somebody to collect it. I'll send drivers, I'll send trucks, whatever it is. But help is needed. Help is needed. And if ever I could also come on your program at any point in time, I also render my services in any capacity, it may not be political capacity, but maybe other programs. Because my I am not a very narrow person. I'm not a person that is just in one area. Politics may be one. I'm an author, I'm a counselor, I'm also a woman, I'm a mother, I'm many different things, you know. So I can help. In some ways, if I can render assistance, yes. If I can promote your program, yes. So one hand or clap, eh? One hand or clap, and it's about networking. And it's time for us to learn how to network with each other. When you grow, I grow. Correct yeah? is right. right. So, yeah. so this somebody says, I love you still, Kezi. Stay strong and you will overcome. I admire your bravery. And I know deep inside it takes a lot of courage. Yes. Thank God for that. Yeah, thank God for that. And I love you too dearly. Yeah? Because that love is also an energy, and I thank you for that. Maybe that is what is sustaining me right now. I don't think I've ever received so much love from the public as I receive now. Because remember, there's something that God said there's more for us than against us. Huh? And at this point in time, I have received so much of love from people from whom I never even expected it. Yeah? But so I'm very thankful. I am thankful. But, but Ms. Jackson, you know, before you go, you know what I will say though? What I would say yeah. though is that, you know, as I said this previously, we have all, all that shortcomings, eh? And you apologize mm -hmm. for you 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 took you 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 took hold of of of, of what you did mm -hmm. and you didn't try to make excuses for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't trying to make excuses. You say, listen, you know, mm -hmm. I I I I I was wrong, I did something that I shouldn't do. And you know you owned up to it, yeah. You know, and and sometimes that's very difficult for us to own up to our mistakes. You know, yeah, true. You know, it 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 it's a difficult thing to do. Somebody by the name of Donna from Trinidad is listening to your program, and she said that she loved mm -hmm. all of you. <laughs> Message now coming. <laughs> uh, she said it was a beautiful program. Oh, Donna from Trinidad. Yeah, somebody by the name of Donna. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait now, um. Yeah, yeah. By the way, my wife is also named Donna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My wife, good friend name is also Donna. Maybe. I just saw the message coming, so, so I just read it to it's, myself. It, it, yeah. it, it, maybe it's one of those Donna. Yes, maybe. So she went a little frozen a little bit. Yes. So, I, um, you know, I I, I, I think mm -hmm. tonight was, was, was a, 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 a great program. We heard a lot from yes, Ms. Jackson. Mm -hmm. And, I mean... Mm -hmm. What, what are you going to say? What are you really going to say? Mm -hmm. you know. we, we, we truly appreciated it. I know I did. Yeah. I, you hear me? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think she would take my call, you know? Yeah, so yeah, I said, yeah, let's yeah, try. Yeah. Let me try to a little bit. I take, I take you know, all calls. And if I don't uh, if I don't take the call immediately, I return calls. Excellent. I okay. treat everybody so, as though they are very important. Because <laughs> uh, you are. Yes. yes. Um, so, 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 Ms. Jackson, again, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Any closing words before you go? 
Any closing words before you no, go? I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you to your audience. Thank you for the time. Um, thank you for the questions as well, because there are some questions that I would I would lie down and really think, um, meditate on. I mean, you all hit me some nice hard questions, and I love when I'm jam against the wall because it forced me to to grow as well. It forced me to think a little more. So a lot of, a lot of good came out of this um, conversation. Um, where we share views and even from your listeners that they would have sent questions that really yeah, the, 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 to, to go internet. deeper. So, I mean, that's why, that's so that's the reason. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Are you there? I'm there. I think he muted himself. But um, just want to say, Miss Jackson, we yeah. thank you for taking the time out to join us here in the village. Uh, we look forward to continued uh, interaction with you um, on matters, you know, surrounding what's going on in our home country yes. and anywhere else. But we thank you very much for coming in and, and chatting with us and taking and, the and questions. Ms. Jackson, and Miss Jackson, before you go, next time I send yeah. you a WhatsApp, could you please answer it? You sent me a WhatsApp and I did not reply to you? Well, is Aunt Semley Bone sent you a WhatsApp here? I sent you the invitation to come. And I see you read it and I say, I say like... Me, um, Aunt Slam, I could answer that. You're not as cute as me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What happened, remember? I I probably, it probably went down because a day like today, I had over 2,000 messages. All right, all right, day. all right. So sometimes when I scroll, 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 and I, I, I ain't getting the bottom, sometimes I fall asleep trying to answer messages. Okay, no problem. Yeah. I, 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 it, no problem. But but again, we want so to say thank you. forgive me. Forgive no, me. No, 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 no. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. So it's send me a, as soon as you come off the phone, send me another WhatsApp with your name, and I'll just save it on it up. All right. Okay, no problem. Thank yeah. you so very kindly. We You're appreciate you coming to join us. You'll okay. have thank a you. evening. You have, yeah. a you have a splendid first rest of the evening as well. I love that word, splendiferous. Oh, Lord. Yes, splendiferous. <laughs> Splend for the splendid people, let's have a splendiferous evening. Here yes? we go. Yeah. There we go. Bye-bye. Yes. All right, take care. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. You had to indoctrinate you with that word, huh? Eh? You had to indoctrinate you with that word? Everybody does get that word, man. Everybody <laughs> does get that word. <laughs> yes. And let's say one thanks is enough. She's... She's no pushover. No, she's not. No, she's not. <laughs> yeah, Ellis, Tommy, Ellis, go and invent a word now. <laughs> wow. Hey, let me let me say welcome to the pot spoon kitchen. All right. I think there was this. There was somebody else earlier uh, made a, a comment about what Diana and gender. I block him. I block him. I block yeah, people, up. you know, they like. I get rid of him. I get rid of him. Quickly, yeah, quick. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 man. He was gone. He was gone. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he just gone. My gender is female. I'm a woman. What was what's the big yeah. deal? <laughs> yeah, but but you know something though? I, I have to admit eh, that mm. this is this is this was such a big scandal in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And this one handled it very eloquently. Okay. Mm -hmm. She did. Yes. A, she did a very, very good job. She's a professional. That disaster that could have been, it could have been tainted her for life. Yep. Right. And in this and, digital era too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah things yeah, spread give, faster. Give her credit. Right. <laughs> and for all I was done to, let me respond to her right now. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Yeah. Hold on. Mm. No, but I, 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 I think, I think, um, okay, where did she go then? All right, so you guys just take it there for a minute. I just want to send, yeah, 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 pot spoon kitchen. She, she didn't hide nothing, man. She didn't hide nothing. She, 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 she talked truth to power. Mm -hmm. huh? And that, that is all you could ask for a person. Now, if, 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 if was, if was what he. What you would have trying to spin and dodge if she don't want to answer that question. Uh, yeah. If she yeah. don't want to answer that question, she answer another question. You know, she's an astute politician. <laughs> you know, I it's swear. You can clearly see she's the brain behind. Yeah. Yeah. 
Eh? I just want me to let Duke get, let's get Duke now. Give what snatch on. I'm going to send him a WhatsApp and let me see if he's going to tell me he's not interested. All right, whatever. If, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want, then it's up to you. You understand? Um, let me see if I. The volume went very low. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm right here. I'm just going through my email here, my um WhatsApp. No, but you know what it is though. We have to look at everything that has happened, and you know, certain things that was done by the mail. It 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 it, it, it wasn't it wasn't kosher. Mm -hmm. as a male to do that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, highly. Uh, she said, Rose said Miss Jackson is not used to hiding anything else. She uh -oh. said, I, I, of course, uh -oh. I, I, I applaud Kazelle because in all the back and all, she has stayed a true lady. She has handed it holy mess with dignity. She has. She really has. Yeah. She has good vibes. You can't deny it connects. Yes, correct is right. Correct is right. Right? What gives up, what really gives up an edge is that she owns everything. She owns it up, man. Mistake, you own your mistake and you keep it moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Ellis. Nobody in judging Duke. We're not judging Duke. Nope. But some of the things that we have said, some of the things that I have asked her, she agreed with it and she knows it much better than I do. <laughs> I, I know him from a distance and I mm -hmm. asked her about the selfishness with the dog and the lamppost and all kind of thing and she says you know I fully agree with you and she has she has personal interaction with him <laughs> so to speak <laughs> right so she knows exactly and, 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 and listen if she if I was incorrect she would have totally this she would have, she would have thrown me out the window Mm -hmm. Without a problem, because yeah? she's she's yeah, she's she's very forthright. Very forthright, yeah. Claudia says correct answer. Yeah, yeah, very forthright. And that's all. And listen, we ask her some tough questions, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I I I had a I had a list of questions, and I get I, see, I, I realize you had a, a long list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a long list, man. And the woman sit there and she um. She 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 politically answered some of them, and then <laughs> you know <laughs> gotta give her credit. You know, um, Judy says answer. This is Par Excellence show. This blessed evening, she bring in balance. Yeah, yeah. Claudia, hey Claudia, welcome back. She did the whole interview, and she has held the one and never once dragged his name. Still, yeah, correct is right. Right. Yeah. Pot spoon, pot spoon. I like that name, boy. Pot spoon kitchen. <laughs> I want to like Ellis' cousin, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What pot spoon? So if it was me, shame would have kept me out of the public eye. But Cassell well bounced back and came back stronger. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and yeah. Duke Beaver says so. Oh, we could release nudes of the woman. Nah, man, Ellis can't support that at all. Highly, that is the ninety percent highly. There, I could never support that. No, you can't support that. I can't support that. Ellis said, but was if we're looking at right and wrong, both are guilty, so don't throw Duke under the bus. Me ain't throw Duke under the bus. Nobody throw anybody under the bus. We throw him under the bus. No. I throw him inside the bus. You understand? You know, but, 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 listen. If, if Duke, you know, for, or for everything, there must be a start, right? That's mm -hmm. the a start, right? If Duke didn't start what he started, remember this whole thing started with Duke doing a live on That's Facebook. Right. That's how it all started. Mm. And right? you realize you you realize all the issues that has existed with Duke started with Duke, even with Farley. Uh, Tommy, great point. Mm. Every time there's a major issue, it starts with him. Every time there's a major issue that involves the PDP, it starts with Duke. Look at the big issue we had here in New York. Duke yes. started. Yes. The issue in Tobago, where you calling them Farley and friends. Duke started it. Judy, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with you off here. 
Yeah, he started it. But you hmm. see, it is important that when you start, you have to know how to finish. Uh, in any race you're going, any race, I know about that very well. Right. When you're running a race, right? You know, in 100 meters, you have to get a good start and you have to have an even better finish. That's right. Right? Duke had a good start, but he ran a 60 meters in a 100 meter race. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 he, he was in front for 60 meters and then everybody mm. caught him when he got to 61 meters everybody was in everybody caught him and after that that was it yeah oh. mm. yeah yeah claudia mm. says yes duke starts everything we know they're both wrong but still duke should have gone down that road to miss jackson because we all know woman do yeah woman do fall yeah i think he underestimated that young lady though mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? Sure did. I think he underestimated that young lady. Wow. Yeah? Who's putting clothing for me? Yeah. All right. Pot Spoon says, you never hear Duke regarding this after in life. He caused trouble and disappears. Suddenly when he pops up, he's a victim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so folks, I, I, I have to tell you all, eh? I think this was, this was, a really, really fantabulous show with respect to getting Miss Jackson in here and asking her. But we asked her some tough questions, but I ain't gonna lie to all you. Right? And yep. she didn't she didn't hem or haw if she wasn't gonna answer it. She didn't answer it. She said something that she had to say, but but she she she, she was excellent. What what do you and Tommy say? You and that Diana and Tommy. Well, I'll tell you something, Miss Jackson surprised me. I wasn't even expecting her to be so eloquent. No, oh, she's very good. She's very good. She's very good. You can't take it away. I, I believe, I believe what what in his son did what he did because he saw her as a threat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Claudia said Duke need a Chris Rock special. <laughs> <laughs> So Claudia Ellis, uh, mm. Pot Spoon Kitchen, Judy, um, Nadia, um, Mean Jean, Hailey, Rose. I think Lana was there. Takesha still there? Takesha, if you're still there. Rose, if you're still there. Put closing comments in the chat. Mm -hmm. Dr. Love. Rennie, if you're still there, put closing comments in the chat. You know, but all in all, I think, I think, you know what? And and, and, and I think what it is. Yeah? Yeah, Claudia. Thank you. Have a blessed night, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I want to read Ellis' comment here. Let me read. Ellis says, I don't support what Duke did with the nudes, but I don't think he hide to get the nudes. If I with a woman and she said I like man, I put it up nudes with her grandmother and all. Ellis. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ellis, I think Ellis joke it I, 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 I don't think that what Juke did is not is not becoming of a man. That's yeah. that's 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 mannequin kind of behavior. That's boy. not man behavior. Huh? Like a little boy. Yeah, yeah, that's mannequin behavior, man. That that's not man behavior. You, 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 you know what I mean? So 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 what you were doing, you were taking them pictures with the intention of doing something with them. Taking them videos with the intention of doing something with them. Or holding her hostage. Yes, yes. And I'm sure, you know, we should ask her that. If she was ever told, if she ever did anything, if we will reuse those videos of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah Port Spoon. I feel sorry for her too. And she have I, I give her kudos. She, she have a whole heap of patience. Because he'd have been done, he, he two hands would have been done swinging off a pendulum. I still believe that she did the right thing. Well, yeah, I believe that. Who, Mrs. Juke? Yeah, Ellis says, <laughs> he, he says. But Spoon says, not, not mannequin, a mannequin. You are listening to WCYELP 
95.9 FM, Maplewood, New Jersey, broadcasting from Essex All County. Guys, you are listening to WZYE 95.9 FM, the most influential name in Caribbean radio in New Jersey for talk, news, sports, and information from the Caribbean. You are listening to WZYE. Yeah, so... What Spoon says, I really feel for my Ms. Mrs. Duke. It hurt my heart for her as a woman to woman. That emotionally abused his family. But again, you know, when when you're getting involved in them type of activities and you know the woman swinging on chandelier for you and doing all this kind of thing, you don't think about them things, man. <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> we don't think about them. Awesome. When people swinging on chandelier like Tazin and Jane in the jungle and all kind of things, you ain't thinking about how the how the woman go. That is it. That's that that is. You see, but mm. uh, yeah, but 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 you see, you see what it is is that, I, I, and 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 I always tell my kids this, eh? and even Miss Jackson agreed with me. I always you, you have to think sometimes, eh, boy. But we all make mistakes. Yep. We all make mistakes. And you see, that's the good thing when she own up to a mistake, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. I wonder, would it have been a mistake if it had worked out? If it had what? If it had worked out. I was, would it have been a mistake? I was getting I was getting to the point where to tell her that if at the end of it the wife was husbandless and the children was fatherless. To be brought up by a, a single parent, would that be acceptable? But she, um, she, she sort of cut me off. I just say, you know what? I'm not even gonna go back there. Uh, I wouldn't be tolerating it, and that's it. I'm not tolerating. You want, like I said, you want to go with Jack, please, Jennifer. I dream, I'm changing my luck. Yeah, well. It's human, they're human beings, you know. And I've changed my luck. I don't care. A human being will come and change my luck. Yeah. Dana, I don't know, eh? You're looking for a perfect human being. Which, which is impossible. <laughs> I don't a perfect human being? I, yeah, a I don't know who you're finding that. Oh. Yes, you'll find a perfect human being who errs. Yeah, you. Yeah, oh, you have a perfect human being because you you look for a person. So, so when you take vows and all that, all you're taking vows with the intention that you're gonna cheat. Then it goes both sides oh. of the coin. It's both sides of the coin. You don't intend to do these things. Nobody but... intend to do anything. All I said is, you want to do that to me? Expect the consequences that I will be dispensing. That's yeah. it. Yeah, there, there are going to be consequences when stuff happens. Diana? No, no. The consequences come here. I take, I take the um, take the um, the wax out your ears. I said the consequences I will be dispensing. I, I said they are going to, well, I don't know what other consequences they will be, but I know the ones I will dispense. I and it starts, agree, and it yeah. starts with changing my luck. You know, you don't have no access to me or my home. Diana, you have a, you have a right to do what you think is best. Amen. If and don't violate, come back here. If you are swinging from the but chandelier, Diana, you try to impose your will on other people, though. I'm not imposing any will. I I'm just said, don't you. come back here. No, you have a right. You have a right <laughs> to the things that you stand for. That's don't right. come back here. And that's fine. Go and However, swing on the chandelier wherever you were swinging before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Tazan and Jenny yeah. Jungle. Yeah, oh, go, over there, go over there and do all that necromancy Ooh. stuff, but you're not doing Ooh. it by me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's wrap the night up. Yeah, we got that. I don't want to do no swinging on the chandelier. I have never said I don't want to swing from the chandelier. Yeah. But you're not, you're being, I'm not, it won't be, it won't, I'm not so much trying to do three, some four, some five, some. Go over yeah. there and <laughs> swing. Oh, no, three, some four, some five, some. Go Diana, over there and swing. Then Renny say, look no further. Dr. Love is a phone call away. Go yeah. over there and swing. <laughs> Renny, your love, you, your love is too cheap. You distributed your love in the village too easily. That's cheap. 
I like, you know, I like ready to buy it. Dr. Love is on the case, right? Marriage have nothing to do with love. That's the issue with women. The Bible never said what? Nothing love in marriage. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ailey, thank you. Ailey said, thank you, WZ TV, for being the you voice. don't understand what? Well, marriage has nothing to do with love. Okay, I hope you're all listening. Marriage ain't got nothing to do with love. Yeah, Raj, we say every man deserves a few good women in their life. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Hey, Julie said, Duke must have been watching this show. Jim Mean Jean, come in, my friend who's always there. Who can I vex me, Jean? I tell you, my name is Stella. How can I be vexed with See, a name like that? I know. Renny says, mm -hmm. I'll change your luck to good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Renny, Renny jaded. That's a real good one. Renny, you're jaded. <laughs> That's a real good one. Renny says, I'll change your luck to good luck. One. I mean, I yeah, yeah, pot spoon kitchen. So why do you marry and don't promise love to, to love till death? Yeah, ask pot spoon. Not good question. I didn't marry and promise the love to death to your part, but you want to go and do over there with Jacqueline Jane swimming on sand, uh, 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 uh chandelier and dance, uh, 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 uh vibrating, uh, washing machine and all them stuff. Go over there and do that. that Diana, oh, Diana. You, you, look, look, your friend Eugene sent you a message. You turn this screen. Yeah, no, by all. Oh, how you? I tell you, Gene, my name is Stella. How can I be vex? Mm. He's slow, you know. He ain't gonna pick that up. <laughs> wow. Renny said, "What? I will give you your groove." But hey, Renny, I, always, I never lost my groove. Never <laughs> lost it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> never lost my groove, uh, Granny. Never. <laughs> Rose, for any boy you're really in love, but how do you program all of, all of a sudden? We go into the love village, yeah? <laughs> oh, you. God! <laughs> it is love. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, nah, all your good. Hey, let me read the closing, let me closing comments, because these closing comments go in, eh? Oh, uh, are we going to do ours, or? Folks, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Rose says, Renny, you must go after the one you love, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, Alice says, "Pot spoon, devotion." It said to love to and to hold, Alice. To love, love and to hold. Look now, all, all yeah, happy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Let okay. me get my closing comment here. Um. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So, my closing comment. Somebody didn't wake up today, but you did. That's enough reason to stop complaining, and that's enough to be thankful for. Never let your troubles blind you to your daily blessings. From where I sit, this is it. The clock on the wall, so that's all I like to say, but I've got to go. Remember, hard work beats talent. When talent does not work hard, and for every 60 seconds of anger, you lose one minute of happiness. Um, Me? Go ahead, Diana. Okay. Uh, and um, on the heels of International Women's Day, I want to say give a couple of quotes about resilience and what uh, Ms. Jackson has portrayed. Life doesn't get easier or more forgiving. We get stronger and more resilient. And the oak fought the wind and was broken. The willow bent when it, when it must and survived. Resilience is accepting your new reality even if it is less good than the one you had before. Diana Benskin, your storm and your global ambassador and your poet, bidding you all our vidas in until we meet again. Good night, beloved people, and be safe. Thank you, Diana. Go ahead, Tommy. Yes, indeed. Most great people have attained their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. These are the words of Napoleon Hill. A pleasant good night to each and every one. Look forward to our next session. Still remember, love is the key. That's why I love each and every one. Appreciate you and be safe. Thank you, Tommy. So Rose says, 
Good night. Everyone be safe and make the best out of life. Um, Renny, I go play a Bacchanal song. It might be Bacchanal woman, but it's the Bacchanal song we go play. Eileen said, woman love is rare, but when they do, is a great thing. Claudia says, have a great night all. Bye. Claudia says, my husband married me after I put him. I put him hard with the horn. <laughs> oh god ready said live love live love laugh ingredients to long life pot spoon kitchen says closing duke is one cent you will never change now you could change man uh highly says ellis in king two solomon the young woman talk about leaving king solomon and wanting him so bad Love was expressed from a woman. Okay. Um, and Mean Jean comment was, good night, my friend, who is always vexed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God, Mean Jean, bye. Uh, I'm going back here with some comments. Ali says, thank God for life, for my health, my harmony, for my joy. Thank you, God, for all the people that work hard every day to make life easier for me. Thank you, chat, for inspirations. Yep, that's what we try to do. We try to inspire you for better than more. It's not just politics. If Watson was my husband and he did that, he would have to swim to Trinidad from Tobago for real. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia says good night to all I love this show I think Miss Jackson has shown us all that she's a warrior and she can handle adversity I'm proud of her uh, Ali says closing comments the key to power is gratitude a simple thank you it's a few words but great for a prayer and I read the other part of it Ken John says, good night, Anselm, Diana, and Tommy. Blessings. Be safe. Shalom. Shalom, brother. I went back. 9.53. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me see if there's any other. Yeah, Rose says, good night. Everyone be safe and make the best out of life. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go out with the Bacchanal song tonight. Good night, folks.